I am Ren McKenzie, your host, and welcome to Fans of Power. <laughs> that's it? That's all you got? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's well, it. I like, the, I like the big shit-eating grin you got. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty much, this is what is going through Ren's mind. right? It's now. under new management. Whatever, white people. <laughs> that's what he's thinking right now. It's like, what Fans of Power it doesn't new matter. management. I, I am going to be cleaning the slate. And uh, Joe, you're first, buddy. I'm out of here first. Right, I'm no going. Way. Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm you around for janitorial duties, though. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Is, is the pay good? First thing or we're gonna do is clean food? up those damn books behind you. Okay. <laughs> See, Nate, you can't say it no more. I'm back in the action figure room, so you can't say that shit. Sure, sure. <laughs> we're gonna go in the basement and clean out those books. It was a fucking book. <laughs> so what am I getting though for doing janitorial duty? I mean, do I get paid? Do I get the huh? scraps in the lunchroom, or what, what do I get? Paid. paid. What the hell do you think this is? <laughs> you're you're yeah. still here, like yeah. For now. Well, thanks, like, appreciate it. Well, you get time way, served. Really, yeah. Well, let everybody know. Ren's the reason we're fucking late all this time because he's botching everything like usual. But he's, he's got that yeah. cheap ass Joe Motto equipment. His mic's yeah, not really working. Yeah. He's got to use Joe, uh, Joe whatever. Sent me a link. Really is replacing you. Joe sent me a link what? to these headphones, and uh, this is oh. where we are. <laughs> You're gonna have to get one of these things that Nathan got me. This this works for how long have I had this, Nathan? Two years at least, if not longer. Yeah, because I got tired of you getting those cheap. Joe Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree yeah. ones. They would yeah. last two whole weeks, and then he's two like, weeks. I, "I can't do the show, guys. I don't, I don't have anything." Like, and it's no shit, and Ren. In case you didn't know that, and he's not exaggerating, I would get them at Dollar Tree, four buck. Used to, well, you know, it was down now. It's down twenty five yeah. inflation. But anyways, I get them, and they would last two weeks, nonstop. I must have went through ten pairs. Nathan just couldn't take the shit no more, and just sent me these as a surprise. Like, here, just use $10. this. And it's, those cost ten dollars. This was only ten bucks. Two, yeah, and it's lasted you two years. At least, if not longer. So if you need some something taking quality. The money from all those cheap ass ones you bought at Dollar Tree, and we wouldn't have it, had this problem to begin with. That's actually a good point. It is. So, but this is great if you're looking for one. In case you don't want the big extra, extravagant looking one. Yeah, that. I, uh, I, I might start going with my uh, my iPad like I did last week. Um, I just use my earbuds, and uh, they seem to work pretty good. Yeah, that works pretty good. Uh, I, I'm I'm worried about the uh, the camera quality. But no, I, looks I, fine. Think they, I think they were fine last week too. So. Yeah, it was fine yeah. last week. We'll see. Yeah. And we'll see. and the the piercing right there. Have, yeah. Are you rocking that before? Is this new? Yeah, I, 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 I just don't have my Yeah, I just don't have my glasses on, man. I, I've had I've had that piercing for years and years oh, since okay. before I had the great. <laughs> No midlife crisis. This is something he's always had. No, so he's no, always yeah, had. yeah. I, no, I know this was at PowerCon last year, so. Right, right, yeah. Now he's I've had ever since he had his cool mohawk. Think he's real <laughs> cool and shit. Oh I, I, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we're not gonna get into all that stuff. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. I was gonna say, like, Tyler, is that is that piercing closed up? Is it still there? Is it just, no, no. Th this one was completely sealed up. My my ears are still like you can still put earrings in my ears. Oh yeah. man, you got you yeah. Gotta bring it back, man. Er Eric could put like a real big ass dainty one in my ear. I'm like, oh, God, that's I feel awesome. Like such a fucking moron doing that. And she, she she took a picture. I think she put it on social media like a long time ago too. I, I, I oh right, don't, because now Nathan's go gonna. Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, she he might be watching. This, she might be sending it to us live. Like. Hey, you go, <laughs> Actually, yeah, yes, uh, uh, Erica, if you're watching right now, just send me Please send it. Facebook message me the, the photo, and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll put it on screen. There is yeah, one you know, thing. It wasn't flattering. I'll just put it that way. There <laughs> is one thing uh, that I did want to share because uh, Joe went live a couple times in our Facebook group showing off 
Uh, I mean, this is and now for something different. But hey, let's uh, uh, since well, oh, oh, well, our manager what? says fans of power. So, oh, okay. I mean, All yeah, right. Well, it's, fans it's pretty of power represent uh, Willow. But I, I just wanted to show this this clip off that that of Joe showing off uh, Thunder Punch E Man. So here we go. Oh, but I, I was asking people like which one they preferred, and the overwhelming was everybody was saying vintage, and then they were saying origins, and like I said, because this is what. The appeal of that Thunder Punch is what made him so amazing. This has always been my favorite version of He-Man. More than Battle Armor, and definitely more than Flying Fist couldn't stand that thing at all. But when Classics came out, everybody kept saying that action feature gimmicks suck. It's all about uh, just the new sculpting. It's all about details. It's all about that. But it seems like that has definitely changed now, because... Everybody's going back now to saying Vintage, and then some people were even saying Origins. Now, the difference is, like, with the Origins, what's cool is, you know, i, I got to give it to them. At least they're giving the waist action again, but there's no pop. There's no caps. And you can't really hold on the fist because then his arm will always swivel. So the new way of doing it is that. That's as much as you're getting for a pop sound, is that with the Origins one. But when it comes to the Vintage one... And let's hope it works this time. I've done a trial run with a couple of the caps from the one pack. And I even have a whole nother fresh pack. I mean, it is loud. And it gets that smell of that, like, sulfur. And after I did it so many times, you've seen the smoke coming out. But let's see if it does it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Don't you do this to me. We're working fine a minute ago. And as you can see, the flames are burning through this home in central Toledo. Flames broke out just about an hour ago, and they were so intense, firefighters are staying outside to fight it defensively. Just moments ago, the chief told me neighbors spotted something that they think could be evidence someone intentionally set this fire. <laughs> God, that, that fucking pot made me jump. Oh my god. I, 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 do, I do want to uh, specify the clip that was used in this. Uh, Grim, Grim did make a point that I need to set the, the people that were involved in that fire. Okay, obviously they did lose their home. And I just love the build up of that clip. You're like, what the hell is going to happen? Yeah, I'm like, why, why is this funny? Like, there's nothing happening. You're yeah, seeing all good. the faces down there when it happened. You're all just like, ah. <laughs> I lost it. I was like, what the fuck are we doing? That is perfect timing. God damn it. Oh, shit. Thanks, Grim. Holy shit. <laughs> And that's cold. why, and that's why Joe doesn't have his books. <laughs> exactly, burned to the fucking ground. Oh my god, that was great. That, Thanks, to you that was that was very good. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was. I was like, what are we building up to here? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Well, that well, was, well yeah. Joe. Joe frowned. Was like, oh god. I'm like, well, I thought Joe like farted or something like that. But, <laughs> but I thought he knew something was coming. But I no, guess not. nope, yeah. no fucking clue, no yeah, clue. Yeah. I, when I watched it, I'm like, all right, this is just dragging on and dragging on. I'm like, all right, good tale. So yeah, uh, De Deucen does, yeah. doesn't waste our time, so he's no. He knows how to deliver exactly. the punchline. God, he's he's good. Uh, Shit! God damn, that was bad. That was good. God damn. Uh, well, fuck. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Before that should be world. uploaded to the channel. Like that clip should be up. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm yeah. gonna probably do that after we're done with the oh show. Oh my god! So last yeah. week I showed off my little salt and pepper shaker that uh, people thought was a shot glass, and I'm like, hey, there, there's a reason for this, and I, I got to be really careful. Oh boy! But uh, I just wanted to. Um, oh boy. Oh, oh, that's you, cool. oh, you got him. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. Very Getting nice. It all, huh? oh. Look oh how he rubs God. the salt in the wound to you, Tyler. This is terrible. <laughs> Look at this hey, shit I, that he I, does. Hey, I don't, yeah. People who are willing to buy dinosaurs after I pushed and pushed for us to talk about it, I, I think right. it's wonderful that he got rasped. With He's the hooked. Paradise. Does he come with a trap, too, or was it just, uh, just no. a pterodactyl? No, okay. yeah, it didn't come with the trap because it, it added more money to it, but it did. Uh, I got the... You know, we got the little ladder accessory and some. Of the... Oh, that's cool. Did he come with like, any of the guns or anything like that too? Yeah, yeah. there's. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. The guns right here. Ah, ah. No, it's oh, all. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, guns in there. I had no idea till I was an adult that any of the dinosaurs came with weapons because the the, it, the figure two packs never came with weapons. It was just the figure. So I. Yeah. Um. So it was a, it was really cool to see that, but no, I, I think it's awesome, Nathan. That that's the one I would like to get myself. 
Um, if I can't have the Triceratops or T-Rex, getting Rasp with the Pterodactyl, that's the one I want. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, got them perfectly placed on, on the top of the salt and pepper shaker. Just took off the lid on it. That way you just sort of, the belly just sort of rests. Nice. In the... That's cool. That's that's clever. Yeah. And I'm like looking at that T-Rex. I'm like, do I want to spend five <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, That's going to be a lot. Is that that's about as much he goes for? Is like $500? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Or yeah. 50 500 Even more. Yeah, depending on condition and everything that comes with them even more. But, well, Nathan, you can say the first name and I'll say the rest because the first name starts it off. Johnny Cock. There we go. And Zentron, Fedmon, Will Timpson, Brian Brummagen, Rebel Wookie. I said Fedmon. Uh, <laughs> Mick DJ. I know I'm starting to see now shit already. Mick DJ. <laughs> Casey Duncan. Speaking moistly. Uh, Sobek. Uh, is somebody making faces at me? I don't know. Um, yeah, but it was great. Uh, it was fun. And I'll see you all on my balls. Stop it. MW3. Jenny K. Love you, baby. Uh, let me see. What else we got? <laughs> wait. 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 Why do you? No, you said it as you're like over here, like, love you, baby. And then you're like. Because like, I was waiting for Ren to start some have... shit with me. I looked at Ren because he was going to start some shit. I must be seen yeah. out. Huh? All right, hold not going to say a word. Not going to say a word. Oh, I all fucking right. hate oh. that thing. Thompson Farm. Um, you said Grimbot. what? Stop it! Um, it's off your shithead. <laughs> God damn it! I don't that's, know what I'm doing. That sounded like a. Uh, uh... It's off your shithead. Omega Tour. Uh, that sounded like Joe's been smoking a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, right he here. does that just to piss me <laughs> off. And Power X here. And I think I got everybody. If I missed anybody, I apologize. God damn it. There. Got everybody. Fucking He's tired of straining to read. <laughs> yeah. No, I, tr I tried. I was trying to scroll through quick, and I think I got everybody. There. Got everybody. So I'm all set. Someone oh, send this man a bigger table. Yeah. Well, see, yeah, because yeah, one of those little this... plastic like porch tables that you buy at Walmart for like 10 bucks, you know, in the garden area. No, he probably found that at Goodwill or something. Yeah, pro probably so. I, I, and, I mean, this is a nice TV. It's a TV yeah, no. tray. It's a nice TV tray. You know, just maybe I should set two of them next to each other. Then I can have the laptop up higher right next to this. Otherwise, it's always on the chair. And I got to lean down forward towards it because the plug isn't that long going towards the wall. I need extension cords. God damn. God damn. God damn. It is a lot of bootleg it, shit. It, do, he, it does sound like Ren talking. If Ren was really pissed off at one of us, it does sound like that's how, that's how Ren, Ren would say it. <laughs> oh, shit. So there. I'm stuck. I will I'm say, I, well, I, Ren came up to me earlier earlier this week. I watched uh, Quick and the Dead uh, last weekend for like the millionth time. And when Keith Davis talking to Gene Hackman and he starts laughing at Gene Hackman, it looked, it made me think of Ren. Like, it, it just, it just reminded because he's got this, like, very like you know precise mustache. Ren's not wearing that, but it just reminded me of Ren the way he's laughing at Gene Hacker. Like you're so full of shit, man. Like I was like, that's Ren. If Ren, Ren was a, a hired gunslinger, it would be Keith David and Quick in the Dead. I have to watch it. Oh, oh well, I think the clip's on YouTube. I could probably just send it to you. That's one of the best yeah, of all time. Yeah. yeah, so damn cool. Because he's got one of the coolest introductions. When they say, Can uh, Sergeant Cantrell, how do you spell that?" He likes his pipe, looks at him correctly. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, that's Keith David at his finest, man. Yeah, like, don't rich. fuck it up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pop Hunt 69 movie. and Felipe. I seen two Nobody. other people that I missed. Hell. <laughs> Joe ain't even listening, dog. <laughs> I did. No, I just, I, I had to, I forgot uh, the refresh. How the hell you weren't? You <laughs> said, make sure you say people's names. No, you said out something phonics, about man. Hooked out phonics. Yeah. I, I try. I, I try. Jesus It's like Christ. Jim Carrey yeah. reading the newspaper down the te -he, te -he, Me the, and the... Joe Motto, uh, me like Reed. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Like, Joe Bastard. is reading those, like, fun with Dick and Jane books. In <laughs> he those you going to be at PowerCon, Ren? You going to be at PowerCon? I, I, I'm absolutely going to try and get myself to PowerCon this year. You okay. asked him get that last week, man. He, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconfirm it. I'm gonna make it into his head so we make sure he gets there. You gotta Joey, get Joey's Yeah, you know, if anybody, if people just have to ask if Joe is gonna be there and not like, oh, I, 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 you know. And just a uh, heads up, hey, we're all the the four of us. Hopefully, Ren shows up. We're going to PowerCon this year. I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep. We're gonna keep saying this every week until the the day finally arrives. So you got seven months. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the the hotel where PowerCon is taking place. Is already fifty percent booked, so make sure you go to thepowercon.com 
and uh, get the hotel information, go there, book yourself a room. There's probably a discount code that I imagine is probably PowerCon. I should probably look this stuff up, right? <laughs> I should have like a script ready. Disseminating false information. Yeah. So, uh, yes, go go to the PowerCon and check that out. We will be there. Come see us. Come hang out. Get get an autograph. Give Everybody, I want you to know that they are not approachable. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Joe Amato has never invited me. Uh, so uh, mm-hmm. I, I had to push myself in here. Uh, thank you, sweetheart, for inviting me. Uh, I appreciate I you. I would have invited you. I'm just not you, jerk. I'm not talking to you anymore. Okay, <laughs> all right. That's cool. Well, you know him for Listen, how long? Your, your, ti- your time is here. limited. Three days, well, and I invited him on this. Well, podcast. the thing is, we always give each other shit on Facebook all the time, uh-huh, so that's sure, sure. I just I'm used to that. You I'll didn't want to give, give me shit on your yeah. real show, huh? And you never Ren. thought to invite him on the podcast. Uh, well, I'm, hey, I'll give you a free autograph, friend. What do you think? You come out to the podcast, <laughs> I give it for free. <laughs> He's like, I, I ain't going. Fuck it. I can scribble Joe Amato. <laughs> I'll yeah. let you wear your special mask. You can, and I'll let you I'll, autograph I'll, back. For me. I'll draw it like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fucker. What a dick. I'm trying what to find dick. this uh, picture of Tyler with the earring. That if you see me just concentrating over here, that's what I'm trying. Oh man, he, he's gonna find that. Are you sure it exists? Are you sure she? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Let me. He's definitely gonna find that picture. Actually, so I Ren. I could just message her myself. Yes. You still uh, um, up to doing your renderings? You still doing those lately? or are you? I, I haven't done wait? those in, in way too long, man. I'm not even going to lie to you about it. Um, I, Is it because uh, of your arm or just... Uh... No, well, partially. I, I I prepared to have that surgery, which I'm, I'm absolutely going to be pushing it off until uh, next, the beginning of next fall-ish. Um, okay. So I'm going to... Um, I, what I, what my plan was was to uh, catch up on all my commissions and things before the surgery, um, but now since I'm pushing it back, I think I'm going to jump back on uh, doing my renderings on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, okay. and um, try to try to get my uh, my regular drawing skills back up. And uh, do you still have a lot of stuff that you can auction off, like on you know do things like that, or I I had a good auction. I think two weeks ago I had an art auction, um, okay. so I've got I've got to build up my my inventory. But I bought a bunch of um, sketchbooks, um, not sketchbooks, blank covers, comic covers. Mm-hmm. Um, I bought a few gargoyles blank covers that came out. Um, I think about a month ago, issue okay. one, and I'll be I'll be jacking those up. And uh, I've got I've got about a thousand blank covers from over the years, man. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna randomly just start drawing on them. And, now uh, those, just to ask, those blank covers—that's something that you have to download online. Do you buy them at comic shops online, or like where do you get the blank covers for like a lot of those comics, like how they're available? Well, the the comics, uh, Marvel, DC, and all those guys—they actually it's the actual book. Um, it, it's like um, it's just a, a different cover. And it's just, it just has the header on there. And you just there. draw what you want, right? And, and you, you draw. draw what you want. So it, it ends up being a, a one of a kind. A lot of people slab those, uh, send them to like CGC or whatever, or whatever the comic one is. And, mm-hmm. uh, of course, they'll go up in value and all that. Yeah. Okay. I, no, I, don't I mean, understand that like, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Joe. Keep, no, keep I was going to say. No, yeah, my rambles, my good rambles. No, I didn't know if, like I said again, were those comics the ones with those covers? Do you buy them at the comic shop, or do you have to order them from like specifically websites? I didn't know where those were no, available. No, no, you you buy them at the shop. Uh, they're they're, oh, they're usually available. Okay. When, when she doesn't have it, Nathan. By the way, she just she just confirmed. So I, I'm not Damn sure it. where it's at. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was I was given up. I, we we can yeah. all just picture it. Imagine it. Yeah. Well, it was just a big dainty earring hanging like with a big hook and. Yeah, it's yeah. She she did she make you she, you, thought, she hmm. make you wear a pretty bow in your hair? Anything like that? Did she have you add anything to you? Well, I didn't have to do it, but <laughs> yeah, sure. It's the power, it's the power of love. I mean, hey, if I'm gonna look pretty, I'm gonna go all out. Damn it! You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, feel I, pretty, I mean, man. Feel pretty. The the, the I mean, blue went with my eyes. I'm like, you know what? Let, yeah. Let's let's do this. I mean, uh, Joe, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure if Jenny was like, I want I want you to get a Prince Albert, you'd be like, all right, baby, anything for you. <laughs> um, you do what you gotta do, right? 
<laughs> Joe's like, I, I didn't you know. know. You got to pay for someone to do that? Can we just go out to the back alley and pay one of my other bum buddies to, like, drive Jenny, a nail into you, my dick? I, hey, I got you, some rusty screwdrivers. What were you saying, Nathan? Yeah, do you really, that being your junk. Do you really want to see Joe's dick? <laughs> listen, if I can stab it, I don't listen. I was in the army for two years. I've seen worse than whatever the fuck right, comes out of Joe's Yeah, uh, fair enough. That, that's true. I guarantee you, I've seen more mango shit than whatever's in Joe's pants. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, if you want to, if you want me to get that piercing, just put it here in the chat room, and I'll uh, I'll pop. It's gonna you know, have to I'll be a small anything. piercing. I guarantee you. Anything. I'll do anything, you anything for it, but don't. But just don't don't post that, please. Please don't post that. Anything else, I'll do anything for it, but I don't know about... Well, feel Not free that. to go ahead and make whatever request Start you would like. There, Joe. Oh, you know what he should What's do? That? He should do what Steve-O did in Jackass and have uh, his uh, butt cheeks pierced. Remember that one episode where he had his oh, butt cheeks pierced? Yeah. yeah. God, yeah. watching that <laughs> dog was... Jackass. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was just... Wa watching those two cheeks be like, ah! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, we'll get man. you some uh, dollar store jewelry too, Joe, so you won't feel too bad. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, see, that's yeah, what I, I, got I appreciate. I got that. you, buddy. Joe would no. actually. I think I could just imagine him if he wanted to go through with having a Prince Albert, he would just go to the mall and show up at uh, Claire's. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right, I'm ready. Twenty-year-old like, girl working there, like what? <laughs> can you uh, can you pierce my second belly button, please? Oh God. <laughs> Well, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so what, fucking Billy Gunn had like a belly button piercing? <laughs> I, 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 I can't remember, yeah. Yeah, the 90s were crazy that way. Oh, man. Indeed. Uh, should, we talk, uh, should we talk some Willow now? Yeah. Tyler, yeah, Tyler I'm it. glad you uh, pulled the poster down. I was like, I have yeah, to have this behind say. me. I got the poster. I got my original General Kale from childhood. Oh. Oh, I got oh, yeah. the Nintendo game here. Look at that. Oh, you bought the Nintendo so, game. Interesting. Oh, I bought this Did you beat flea it? market years ago. No, I never got to play it as a kid. Oh. Was, I bought I bought this okay. flea market for like five bucks. Well, it, so. well, it wasn't from that fucking uh, dusty flea No, no, guy, no, right? not, not, not that jerk off at the Dublin flea market. It was, yeah. uh, I, I can't remember where it was, but it was like real cheap with the box. Um, yeah, no, this dude would show up. Got the manual? Every, every no, no flea manual. But, oh, show up okay. to every It's more about just owning it. And he would, it was the same pile of games and every year it was just sun damaged so if, mm. we see him every year yeah. for like what 10 years it just yeah worse and, worse. and he, he wasn't would, cheap he didn't like to uh uh you couldn't like to him or nothing. yeah yeah, yeah. i lose yeah. my shit sun damaging that not going down on prices i fucking hate people like that yeah, yeah i was like so how much for this he's like whatever i'm like dude this thing is trashed <laughs> I'll, I'll give you two dollars like, it's amazing yeah i can't do that <laughs> yeah. it's so amazing Mm. He's like, out of my way, boy. You know, you, you go away, kid. You bother me. You know. Yeah. I don't think that he dude that like, shows up anymore. I he wasn't. He, he wasn't guys. there the last time I was there. Nobody was there selling any cool shit. It was just junk and more junk and more junk. When you think yeah, you've seen enough junk, more not junk. Not what they used to be. Yeah. No, not with eBay, and they they charge so much for people to set up stands, and most people like they they want you to pay uh, an arm and a leg for. You know, for anything, absolutely yeah, yeah. anything. Yeah. I will say at the Hills of Flea Market that me and Erica went to this. This uh, the, Nathan's been to this one plenty of times. Mm -hmm. There was a tent of He-Man stuff, but it was mainly current shit. Like it was mm -hmm. tons of origins, lots of classics, and like the loyal subject shit and all that, all mm -hmm. that stuff. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I'm not even going to go wander over there and say, hey, I, I do a podcast and I got all this shit. I, I just, I, I'm I just, famous. Like, yeah, Give me this. yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I was just like, it's it's a modern tent. I'm not interested in Do that. Do you know it who was... I am? I can make them break your tent right now with my opinion on my YouTube channel. We won't look if I went live right now, you go broke. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Dude, some people act like that, though. Like, oh, for I mean, real, they're too. just YouTubers. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. you're just a YouTuber. I, I, I noticed that when I was at PowerCon. I'm not going to say any names, but I did, I did notice... Uh, a couple of the uh yeah the guys in there kind of walking around with their with their chest out and they're, they're putting out they're, airs like <laughs> really out. yeah you know who i am har, 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 har. <laughs> harold was thinking i was gonna be the only one who did that this, this year 
man, nah, I got competition now. You're at least a year late. I was walking around. You know who I am? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. He had a Joe moment. That's what he's a going to do to you. I did. What happens? <laughs> what happens when I'm, you know, I'm no, trying, I trying am to be old? Whack. Yeah. So I'll be causing a lot of destruction there. <laughs> You know, everybody you knock down all your tables. <laughs> yeah, I'll be kick, kicking this and kicking that. Rah, rah. <laughs> Out of my like, way. Sound like uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jim Hurd. Only Nathan this one. I will pull about. everybody out of their comfort zone at PowerCon. Anybody who tries to go, hey, how's it going, Joe? I am just going to grab them, pull them inside, hug, slap their back. I'm not fucking around. Like, hey, how's it going there, buddy? Or any of that you shit. You do. There I'm might gonna, be some. Uh, what, what if they like stink and they have sweaty palms and it leaves a stink on oh, your hand? Oh, then I'll just and... stick out my fist because I don't want them to well, touch me. Well, you don't me. know that until you reach in. So you might want to size them up before you start <laughs> pulling them. Uh, no, I can tell Joe doesn't go to many cons. No, you're right. Only yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if it's any of the people that we know stuff. from those other channels, you know oh. I'm gonna fucking do some stuff. That's what I'm, I meant. I'm gonna stress no, this. Didn't. I'm gonna stress this too. Uh, it, it, it's just before you come and meet us, please, uh, please take a bath and wear deodorant. I won't. <laughs> we'll make and, an and exception for rent. <laughs> I swear I won't. I'm going to come in there all stinking. Marinate for five days. Five days I want, of marinating I want funk. That, that big ass fucking sweat stain right here, dude. And and like one around here, I don't even fucking sweat. I'm just going to miss some dirty shit on me and, and just come up and be like, what's up, guys? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm jumping the table. I'm hugging everybody. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I'm going to hit, hit your motto right in the face with, with all my sack and just scroll down real soft on his Take face. Take a whole uh -huh. bite out of a raw onion and, and, and just, just breathe like, on everybody. Yeah, be like, hi. Yeah, what, to... What's going on, guys? <laughs> oh, God. But yes, please, please bathe and wear deodorant, everybody. Come on. Terrible. You, smell, you're smell so good. demanding. Uh, hey, hey, we've been to enough cons to know, man. When uh, you're stuck in line waiting to meet Elvira for over an hour, almost two hours, and it, the hallway stinks because yeah. all these guys wearing. Tons of jet black clothing, and clearly they didn't bathe or put on deodorant, and they look like they're were like, you know, they're they're sitting there just kind of. It just smells like stale ass and Fritos, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. It does. Matt said that before. Oh, it smells God. like Cheetos and depression. It is really, really funky, real sure. funky. The ones, that, the fantastic kinds I went to, I was like, God, that's bad. That's yeah. why I had to stay in motion. Rebecca can, can attest to that. When I was walking, I was moving my hand like this as I was walking to like part the waves. I never at any point just stood there when somebody sounds like, "Excuse me, excuse me." It's like G Jesus Christ. It yeah, was I funky. picture, I have picture Joe. Actually, I thought about doing this. Maybe I'll do it at. Power con. I'll take one of those little mini fans and just like rip a fart and just like <laughs> put the fan down there and just blow it around. Yeah. Like, oh, or, or, yeah. just, or just do oh, it, but don't cool. make sure it's a silent one and like stand next to Joe and then walk away. And then... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah, I actually... and just constantly standing next to him all day and just drop. Let, it let's uh, let's uh, let's make a. But pack. then you have to do like a Vince impression when you're done. Ha ha ha! Ah, <laughs> goddamn pal, I love it. <laughs> well, Rebecca, just... I've got a question for you. Do you have you fart? had a really really bad experience with it with a fan at the shows? Uh, with a fan? No, just with like creeps. So do, does like, my husband I count? <laughs> does my husband? <laughs> my worst, I think my worst like stinky fan or or you know person <laughs> moment. This guy came uh, and he I, had. I, I would love a stinky fan to approach Rand about some more. Hey, will you draw something for me? <laughs> Well, we, we can get, it, we can get into some weird, fan, like, like we can get into some weird uh, questions. Like, like I've had some weird, odd requests before, but this guy had a bottle of mouthwash, and he drank it. He, he was huh? he was standing there talking, and I had done a book for a guy. He was he was uh, right next to me, so we were we were at adjacent tables, and the guy was talking to us about the book. He pulls out one of those little travel mouthwash things and freaking drank it. And, and put that bottle it. back in his pocket. Just fucking drank it. He's trying to get drunk, man. What? Well, that's bad. He's cheaper than Joe No. Yep. Listen, man. Listen, man. He, he he was not trying to get drunk. Um, was he trying to put me, the moves on you? He was not trying to get drunk. He was fixing. He knew what was going on in his mouth. And he was he was trying to fix it. And I'm like, dude, if you, if you brush... Like that, yeah, that, that helps a lot. Like it goes. Or a you don't have to, it yeah, that's something. You don't have to drink mouthwash, man. Like that's not oh. gonna help. Mm. 
It's going to give you a stomach ache later on. You hear that, Joe? Uh, the like, grossest stuff note. is is I'm a very tiny girl. So, like, when guys will, like, put their arm around me and then you, like, uh, smell this mm. Nope. That's nasty. Yeah. yeah. You're, like, right in, right in line with, like... You're right in line with the armpit. Yep. <laughs> I, I was going to I was gonna say they're balls. You know? What? I too. Really tall <laughs> She's not that tall. short. <laughs> I'll find out in seven months. Yeah, well, listen. Six and a half. I, I'm coming in like this. So, you know... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing you. I, now that I know you, this is my second time meeting you. I'm shoving you in there. I'm like, I love you, girl. Just, and, and Ren, Ren, make sure that uh, you're like LL Cool J. You know how LL Cool J, you said you could just see the deodorant in his pits? Make sure you like really lather that in there. Right in your arm. That crispy white deodorant? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Well, I, I shaved my underpits, so I don't I don't know how that's going to work. I thought about doing that myself just because. Dude, like, I've shaved my underpits since I was a teenager. That makes sense. Yeah. I think it doesn't Tyler, make sense Tyler to me to have now, it. right? No, I, 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 no, I don't. I, no, it's it's just, just everything else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's but, just that, that that's never been an area that really bothered me. You know, yeah. it's, uh, you know, the, the neck hair, you know, back hair, stuff like that. I, I can't stand that stuff. I only get like one singular back hair that's just on my <laughs> shoulder. That's it. And that bitch well, is long be, as hell be thankful. And it, it's not falling or something to be proud of. So you'd yeah. be glad you don't have to worry about that. And yes, Ren, it does get kind of long. And I'm just like, <laughs> you know, I'll start to rub my back and I'll feel it. And I'm like, oh my God. So I like go and pull it all the time. And then I got like one single <laughs> hair, like right here underneath one of On my your ribs. testicles. Yeah. Good he, he he's already got his like right where he was going, up, so. right? He's like, <laughs> he's like it's, it's all the way down, and man, I'm telling you, that thing is it gets on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> <laughs> it's all curled up around my ding ding. Yeah, <laughs> pulling an old chief red nuts over here. Tyler knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's caught in my zipper every time and just yanks oh. on me. <laughs> Oh man, that almost happened to me one time. I almost had a something about Mary moment with the zipper. Oh, oh no. Oh, who? I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was a little close. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense to have uh, interlocking teeth around that area, you know, period, you know, for men. It really should be all buttons, it should be outlawed, you know? <laughs> uh, I or just do like Joe. Joe just wears sweatpants all the time. Yeah, <laughs> with, 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 with just a, with just a hole that has worn out in the crotch. So <laughs> Always telling everybody how drafty it is in here. Yeah, Jenny can confirm all this information. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, shit. Well, anyway, so back back to Willow, Joe. I, yeah, I want to see I want to see Joe bullshit his way through this conversation because yeah, because I guarantee he like, didn't watch it. I bet he didn't. I watched it. Did hey, he Joe. Watch it. Like I watched that show. It was great. Huh. It's it's a little people Lord of the Rings. Let's go. <laughs> is that how you're gonna do it? You're gonna piss off Rebecca? I, it, it's it's uh... what it is. We'll get into it. Yeah, it was my first time ever watching it. And I no, I actually wanted believe. to save it for yeah, I've never seen it. I wanted to save it for today so it was fresh in my mind because I have such you a shitty memory. Today. Yeah, because if I had such a shitty memory, I could have watched that fucking thing yesterday. And now we yeah. forgot it. In a way, I envy you just because, like, getting to see it for the first time like that. No, but what I enjoyed you? it. But I'll wait till we get into it. But yeah, I watched the whole thing, so there's nothing where I'll be trying to him haul around like I don't fucking know something. I know everything <laughs> that happened, so I watched it all. I the the last time that I had watched it before I watched it last night on Disney Plus was when the Blu-ray came out in 2013. I had to look up the date when it came out, and uh, I'm probably gonna get some weird looks when I watched it. I was it's not in my mind when it was over. I'm like, man, it's not as good as I remember it being as a kid. But what? But <laughs> hang on, when I watched it last night. Total 180. I'm like, oh wait, no, I I was stupid. I was drunk. I was I was dumb ten years ago. <laughs> what, what, what am I? What, what am I thinking? Um, Any extras on the Blu-ray? Not much. Yeah, oh, I, deleted okay. deleted scenes and uh, what what a lot of it was. Oh, the stuff we've seen the, before. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, yeah. optional yeah. deleted scenes, not like integrated into the movie. Is that what you mean? Nah, well, because uh, well, yeah. most of them are unfinished. Which I, I know, like oh. the, the 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 one of them was featured, I think, in the comic book adaptation, which I had as a kid. There you go. Um, John uh, has that. 
Willow yeah. deleted scenes with Ron Howard. It's 12 and a half minutes long. The making of an adventure with Ron Howard, which is 23 minutes long. From morph to morphing with Dennis Murin, which is 17 minutes. Willow, an unlikely hero. Personal video diary of Warwick Davis, which is about 11 minutes, close to. And then uh, matte paintings at a whole whopping minute and nine seconds with the montage of the film's matte painting composite shots. So okay. That's- that's yeah, awesome. it was not not as um, there's a commentary track that was recycled from the DVD also, but it the, like there was the behind the scenes stuff was not as good as I would have thought. I, I felt like it should have been a lot more longer when they go cheap on like retrospects. I need to have at least a good 30 to 40 minutes bare minimum. Like I want to know how long was that that documentary? I don't remember it being that long. It, at all. It's not long. It, I mean, it's, it's like it was Nathan said, I think it's like 12 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's just Ron Howard talking about that time in his life and. A little bit of this, a little that bit of that. That shocked me. Too. I didn't know that Opie Cunningham was the one that did the movie. I had no clue. Really? I was like, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. I had no clue who did that movie at all. So, this was I don't know. Kind of. This was kind of at the time too when his he was starting to really come into his own when it came to. Oh, was it? Yeah, because he never knew. He directed a uh, Night Shift, Splash, Cocoon, which is what I remember a lot too from back in the day. A movie called Gung Ho, which I have. No oh, it's idea a great movie. You've never seen that? Yeah, I, I've seen that. Yeah, uh, Michael I, Keaton's I, in that, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, I've, ne- I've never I've seen, seen that one. It. Yeah, um, and then Splash Willow. Is one of my, another one of my favorite movies. Well, with uh, huh? yeah, it's got the time. And Night Shift. He probably that's why I think Henry Winkler was in there. So the Fonz, I guess that makes sense that he cast yeah. him in that movie. Then, oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I didn't know that. So after Will, when Willow came out, that's sort of when he really started like Parenthood backdraft, Far and Away, Apollo thirteen. That's when his you know his directing oh. really that all started to take off at the time. But I uh, I watched this quite a bit as a kid. I don't think I saw it in theaters. I don't think this because this came out in May nineteen eighty eight. So I would have been turning four in a couple months would have been way too young to remember it but vhs that was something i I would watch it over and over again i know tyler's got a story about being afraid at a certain aspect of the movie and we'll get to that but ren since you're saying it's uh, lord of the rings with little people which i thought was um when you see the village i'm like that is a a shitload of little people it's the hobbiton it's the hobbiton man man. It's, yeah. it's it's Lord of the Rings, man. Um, it's Lord of the Rings cut short because obviously um, they they go back pretty early, like in in the film. Um, they leave they leave Migosh and uh, Willow out there by themselves. But we'll get into that, I guess. I, I don't want to jump too far forward. Well, uh, see, that's the thing, though, Ren. In five minutes, Joe's going to be like, yeah, and then the ending was really good. All right. Ren, <laughs> we're usually all over the place anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're going to come. I mean, did probably... you like it, though, Ren? Or is it Dude, just listen, uh, it was... I, I've always loved Willow. I was, you said, what, what, when did it, it came on 88? Yes. Yeah. So I was, I was what, uh, 13? <laughs> okay. So yeah, I, I I might have gone to the theater to see it. Well, um, I, I I'll ask this. Uh, well, so, I mean, I don't know if Joe would even remember. Was there? Well, Joe was thirty five. Yeah, yeah, so he much, should realistically, much. but uh, and maybe Tyler can answer this too. Was there a lot of hype surrounding it before it came? I, like, I, there was I mean, not. For, for no, me, I was, was gonna say, the, but I mean, for, I, well, I, for I, me, I was like four. Yeah, well, yeah, like for the me, memory, I was a one year old. Like, yes, we know. Uh, yeah. No, there actually wasn't a lot of hype, but surprisingly, though, the first time I almost seen it, but then I had things I was doing in school was there was a day they had uh, like nothing to do at school. You could watch movies. So in one room, they put movies to play something else. And one they played was Willow. And I wasn't watching that. I was in another room doing other things. But uh, I remember them playing. Yeah, what, 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 yeah, what girl were you messing around with? Joe? <laughs> no, no, no. It was Who, just whose lunches literally... were you eating, Joe? You I know when you say I was uh, doing something else. It sounds suspicious. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, no. You could do other stuff. I mean, you could sit there uh-huh. and uh, fucking read. Well, yeah. say, I was in you read comics. Reading. It was, no, it was no, the eighties, man. You were doing something else. Smoking in the boardroom. 
<laughs> no, but no, the, you know, you, you just read comics or do something else while people are watching, and I wasn't paying attention to the movie. He so was that was playing my... with his dick. Let's just... <laughs> we all know that's what he was doing. So that pretty much would have been my only uh, chance at that time of seeing that movie. I just never had a desire to watch it. I don't know. What are you fucking doing, Ren? You dick. That's you playing Stop with it. your dick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, fucker. So, anyway, no, so I've never. You what a dickhead! I want to choke the shit out of this fucker at Power Cup. Quit your laugh he's got going on right now. Damn, <laughs> damn man. Some Fuck bitch. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! What, what, is that Joe's commentary, doing? Come on, oh, baby yeah. motto. You can do it. Come on, little Joe. Little Joe, you got this, buddy. It's what you and me, man, against the world. Yeah. <laughs> Joe would, Joe would have a nickname. <laughs> oh, it's baby Joe. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. So, I don't even know what I was at, but no, so anyways, today was the first Matter time I've seen this Mighty fucking Joe movie. Young. Your fucking okay. Dean Dean's name is Mighty Joe Young. <laughs> well, fuck, I'll go with that. It. Yeah, fuck, I'll, I'll go with that. No, but yeah, so yeah, today yeah. was the first time I've seen this fucking movie. <laughs> fuck off, prick. So anyways, this was the first day I've ever seen this fucking movie. <laughs> God damn Ren. Bastard. Oh, <laughs> Look at him. He's just fucking he's just enjoying the hell out of this. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joe, you can do it! Come on, little Joey! Come on! You can do it! What an asshole. Perfect timing <laughs> from uh Deucean on that one. <sighs> that's bitch. why that's why I keep messing around. It felt weird in that picture. It's like crooked, like oh it did look weird. It did look <laughs> yeah. sort of god damn. <laughs> Gotta work oh, in the morning. Shit. I can't miss work being in the hospital from you guys making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh, Tyler, go, go ahead and uh tell the story again about uh the scene that scared you. Because oh. th 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 this was in the theater, correct? I did go to the theater yes. to see it. I saw the trailers for it. I wanted to see it. And uh, my mom took me to go to see it because uh, her logic was that my brother had been born in uh, February and just wanted to take me to do something, you know, devote some, some just me time. And uh, I really wanted to see Willow. And uh, we got to the theater, sat through the uh, the um, all, all the opening with Queen Bav Morta, you know, Telling to kill the uh, kill the mother, and the midwife takes a uh, Lord Dannon. And the minute the devil dogs are unleashed in the woods and start chasing the midwife with the baby, it made me think of my brother who was just three or four months old at the time. Oh wow! And I freaked out. Like I not I didn't like. I I just quietly was like I I started crying but not sobbing, and just told my mom like I. I, I was just under it made me think of my brother on the screen being chased by the dogs. Oh wow. So so I I, can't, I, I was crying but not screaming and my mom saw that it really unnerved me so we, we got up and left and uh um I still wanted to see it so I had to wait till VHS and that Christmas I ended up getting Eric and a couple of other figures. I had still hadn't seen the movie, so I'm like, Oh Willow figure. So until VHS when I saw the whole tape I was relating it through the figures that I had. Like, oh, I got him. Oh, that's that guy I got. So, and so that was, but I, I fell in love with it. Immediately. My mom and dad did too. And my brother got, when he got old enough, he fell in love with it also. It's a, it's a film that my entire family can quote, reference. They all love it. Um, but I, I mean, I'm a thankful, I at least got to see part of it in theaters. And I, and I'm, when I think about, I really wanted to see General Kale and Mad Marty get in action. If I had got to see their epic sword fight on the screen yeah. as a kid, uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't know how I would have reacted. It, like, it'd have been awesome. But uh, I need to re-release it, man. I'm kind of surprised. I, oh, that oh they, they, they actually did. They did. Uh, uh, Is it when it was, the Blu-ray came out? No, no, no. It was actually within the last few months ago. Um, they was were it doing a, a fathom event. It was a fathom, but they weren't playing it around here. Uh, of course, they weren't. Yeah. Those those bastards. One thing yeah. I wanted to big, big cities, yeah. I wanted to ask mm -hmm. everybody about Kale. I feel that character would yeah. have been so much more effective, though, if we wouldn't have seen his face. Period. Yeah. Me and my brother didn't like didn't like his face when we were kids. And I, I can I, understand I, that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was something about this big ass bushy beard. It just, it just, and then the, like, I don't know. It was just kind of a little off putting to me and my brother because we loved the mask. It was the, in the voice, the mask and the voice. You know, the 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 kind of like saw sword almost. It's kind of like. Yeah. 
Now you can see the the sword there. It's it's, it's kind of have like it's jagged along the blade. I'm actually there. gonna yeah. just but, in, um, in case people have never seen this, like Joe, up until today. This is what the character looks like. I mean, yeah, yeah. he should never have been on mask. Yeah, yeah. There's some things you should never yeah. see. Yeah, and yeah, I wish yeah. they never showed them. But, like, but as an adult, though, I think Pat Roach like looked awesome. It, you know, with just you know this big ass, you know, gruff beard and his deep voice and that smile he gives when a uh, have more to tell Sorcha that you know you'll do as I say, child. And he just smiles like you know she sides with him. That part I hated. It, it, he seemed like a snitch, bitch, and I was like. Ah, dude, like that, that takes away from your tough, tough guy persona. Like, you're like, yeah, gotcha. Ha ha. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're like, yeah, your, your, your daughter, your daughter switched sides. He's like, ha ha ha. Come on, man. I... He doesn't do that when she says, you're, you know, she's turned against us. Your heart. She, she, she doesn't, he doesn't do that. What are you talking about here, Ren? He's like, he's like, I, I was, I, I told you I was the guy for you, queen. And you know, I'm. I told you, come on, let me let me see them titties. He's, you know, he's trying to get under Tyler's skin. I know, and, I, and, and he and he probably planned all this shit out. Like I'm gonna say this about this character, and this about that character, and you know, he ain't work, and it, it ain't happening. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking the bait. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I got notes. Oh, you know, oh, hey, oh of course. Oh, you know, I I used to do that a lot too when we were doing Beyond Retro. I would sit there and take notes because I, I wanted to make sure. Hey, I want to get that I, point across. Get that point across. I I absolutely because because uh well we'll get to it. Uh, I've yeah. got a few words to say about some of the characters, and uh, like a, a few of them really really annoyed me, and it's not because of what they did in that movie. Are and you one of those people off. that bases uh, <laughs> actors and actresses based off of other roles that they played in other movies? So no, like... but but I'm I'm gonna tell you the truth in this one because I watched it right after we got off last week. <laughs> I watched Willow that night uh, before I went to bed, and I thought you said it before <laughs> we wet the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it almost made me pee my pants, but I was so and devil pissed. dogs and trolls are scary. Yeah, I man. did that. Oh, those, yeah, the, 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 troll, the trolls were funny as shit. Um, but, uh, and, and the dogs, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, the dogs are fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> you can tell they were like uh, fucking bloodhounds or something with, with the, yeah. the, the shit was bouncing around on them and they were running. But that, that's afterwards. I think when I was young, I was like, those things are kind of scary. They had big ass heads. But uh, <laughs> one of the characters, and, and I might wait. Uh, to tell you, uh, I, I fucking hated his character immediately when I realized who he was in another movie. <laughs> That's, <funny. laughs> well, That's like Jill with Adrian oh. Barbeau. What's that, Rebecca? That was like you with Adrian Barbeau. Yes, I was pretty like, much, I love yeah. Adrian Barbeau, but she was a bitch in that one movie. I'm like, <laughs> that doesn't make her yeah, a bitch creature. in every and yeah. creep show. Back to school, back to school, and creep show. I just didn't like her. Didn't like her. Yeah. Well, since we kind of all from New York or anything else, just those. Movies. Yeah, I picked the other ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what is this other about... movie, Ren? What are we talking about? You might as well just say it. Oh, What's Joe, the other movie rolling over everybody here. Yeah. Yeah. That right. fucking hack of a wizard was fucking Gwildor, uh in He Man, oh. and it pissed me off. That's why I love him. That's why he's trash. No, I love That's... him. Billy Barty is the best. He might be a really nice person. No, I love Gildor. But they kept him. He absolutely played the same fucking character in He-Man. And it pissed me off because he had the same eyeball. that that <laughs> The one he's making right now. Yeah, that one. That's exactly how he looked. <laughs> <laughs> It was bullshit. And I was like, I'm like, fuck that dude. Fucking grill door. You know, I, I'm thinking they need to reach out to Val and see if we can do like a screening of the live action film and just do a commentary on why everyone is stupid <laughs> for thinking the way they do about that film. Well, that's why Val decided not to do the show. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I've been Quill in talks with him here. You know, I, I'm putting th some things together here. So, you know what? Uh, Rin, you'll have to come out to my live commentary for the live oh, action. My, so. This is going to be Tyler in a room by himself by myself, watching yeah. it. And Rin coming in. Like, that I'll, be, I'll be the back. And then they fight each other. 
and then I'll be like, uh, hey, fucking, dumbass white boy. I'll be like, uh, Joey Donner and 10 things I hate about you when you guys are beating the shit out of each other. I'll go in there and be like, ooh, fight. <laughs> I'll be in the back blaming other, blaming the nobody in there. Like, he said it. He said it. This guy said Grildo's trash. Yeah, well, I'll be grabbing the nearest chair and just slam it over somebody's head. Terrible. Since, since Joe uh, kept uh, yeah. wanted want to interrupt me, I was going to ask Rebecca what her history with Willow was, how old she was the first time she saw it. You know, I don't, it was always on. I don't remember the first time I watched it because my family's been watching it since I was a baby. So it's just, I've always known Willow. It's the same thing with Star Wars. Like, it's always been in my memory. But um, no, I watched it countless times as a kid and I just absolutely loved it. It's it scared me, it like excited me and it just fueled my imagination and I just I love Warwick Davis to death and he, and I do love Billy Barty. He was also in uh I was gonna say this earlier. You he's a lot of fan movies. Yeah, he was also in a legend. He was screwball in legend mm -hmm. and he was Rubble Stillskin and he was yep. <laughs> What the hell is he doing? Huh? He's checking what out. What are you doing? I, I fell asleep. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> that's cold. Hey, no, you know, Rebecca, I, Barton, I remember, him. I'm going to love. I, well, I remember him in a movie you probably have never seen or wouldn't care about. It It was with Mel Brooks. It was Life Stinks. It was where he had to like switch places where he had to become like a vagrant. Shh, don't fucking say it, everybody. He had to become a vagrant and a bum on the streets and try to... Fuck you, you can finish. relate to that. <laughs> Live, like a Live like the Amato. Wait, what's That's the name of this? What, wait, what's the well, name of Brooks life just ran into Joe on the street? And just like, you know, I could do it. I could make a movie about this guy <laughs> and not pay him a damn thing. It's a crazy comedy. It's just a fucking crazy I comedy. I've seen it's that movie. I could watch this. Yeah, it's a. Yeah. You might not like it because I don't know. Do, well, I got to ask you, Rebecca, because I didn't know if this was. I don't think it was something special they did for the movie to make it look like he didn't have legs, but did he lose his legs as he got older? Did something happen? No, no? he had his legs. They Fuck were just he very had to... small. They well, were just yeah, very small. Wait a second. No, 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 Joseph. no. I'm just saying. No, that's Joseph, not him. No, no. he's going to lose those legs. No, hey, not Tyler, him. Tyler, here you go. This is what that character looks like in the movie. No, 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 no. no. Wait, it looks wait. very familiar. Uh, looks like oh, Willow. I think his no, legs no. got weaker, but they didn't. he didn't lose them. Well, he did a scene in the movie where he said, "My legs, my legs, take out my legs," and I was like, "That's a good impression, actually." Well, cool, yeah, because I, I always remember how he screamed that. But um, maybe they just were short. I don't know if he lost his feet. Fuck off, there! God damn it! Do it again! Do it again, Joe! I'm not gonna... Do it again! Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking stupid, but I know he's in that goddamn movie. I know he's in there. <laughs> Life stinks, Billy Barty, Nathan. That should bring it up. Let me see. I'm not crazy. I, I know he's in it. I swear to God, Billy Barty. Life. I know he's in this fucking movie. He's in the movie, Joe. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Bring up. Yeah. Bring up the picture of him, though, so everybody can see. He was on this like little thing. He was pushing there himself around in. There you go. Yeah, right there. Yeah, but it, it actually looked like I didn't know if it was a trick, but I thought he lost his legs or something. I don't know. No, he lost his legs. All right. Well, you got to see the movie. It's a crazy comedy. Swear to God. Okay, I'm fucking done. All that right. was like yeah. that looked like it was much later in his career. It was. It was. Is that like okay. 90s? I guess. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Oh, there. I'm done rambling. I, I'm there. We go. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. Go on. Ran. Fuck. I don't know. Oh, Talk. Well, yeah. I, I didn't know. I didn't know Willow was was an Ewok though. Uh, oh, you didn't know that? No, I had no idea. That was one of, that was I think that was one of his first things. That was his, first that was his, his very first, first role, so, yeah. and that's yeah. actually on the set of Jedi <clears throat> yeah. was whenever George Lucas first talked to him about this mm -hmm. idea he had for a movie, a fantasy movie called, at the time it was called, um, what was it called? Uh, Munchkins. Yeah. I'm glad but, uh, they didn't go with that. <clears throat> well, yeah. I think it was just the a working title boss. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh. Yeah, that's when he first talked about him. So he was he was only seventeen when he did this movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Warwick. Right. which that's kind of nuts to think. He was only eleven when he did uh, Jedi. Hmm. Well, I, it, all right, I'll, I'll try to. I'll tell you what, Willow had a pretty wife. That the actress Kaya, that played Kaya? his wife was, was oh, yeah. very very pretty. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then those adorable children. There goes Jill. They were, yeah, you got yeah. a poop or something. That was a little awkward. Yeah. Oh, no, I hope it didn't. You just started running. Um, but, uh, IBS, man, it'll catch up to you. Oh, uh, your heart doesn't break like when, when Kaya and Willow are saying goodbye to each other. Yeah, or when they reunite, when James Bond's music's building. Both, but when, when she's saying goodbye and she gives him her hair. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, and just, then when it reunites, it's like that scene all over again, those emotions. But that, that, that movie has got, I, I dare say, that movie has got more emotional moments for me that are like so beautifully done, even more than Conan. Like, yeah. I, I, think, I think Willow has got the most impactful scene stealing moments that involve that revolve around emotion you know uh, whether it's that. excitement or, or sadness it, there, there, there's and that's all thanks to james horner's score who amps up the emotion in the film I, I i dare say it might be james horner's like best score i think i mean uh, he did aliens and you know uh, 48 hours commando i mean he's got a, a shit ton of great brave heart that right yeah uh um he's done so many great so many great willow but willow's best well yeah and we'll you be gotta, using the music from Willow in like. Um, if you see the trailer for Prince of Thieves, they use the music from Willow that's in what the I Prince thought. of they Thieves trailer. Stuff, yeah. but I, I heard somewhere that they use it for one of the Jurassic Park trailers. I don't. I've never seen I, Willow. I, I've heard it's been used in different trailers for different things. But uh, I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, I mean, it's just a testament to how good the score for Willow was. I mean, the the the. the you know, pieces of music for, for danger, like when you see General Kale or Bab Morda to uh, mm -hmm. uplifting, exciting moments, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's it's a perfectly balanced score. Ne next to his score for Aliens might be his, it's, it's, it's his best score, I think. And you got to give credit to Warwick Davis, too, for those emotional moments, which I think him being as young as he was at the time that he filmed it really fleshed. Yeah. Uh, you, could, you could tell that he was trying really, really hard to, make it right and you just t see it on his face like when, yeah. when she does hand him her braid and he notices like oh you just you cut your hair that's right. that wonderment that you could see it in his eyes it's like oh okay holy shit and that saying when like, i'm jumping ahead but when he thinks he loses alora and yeah. he's he's like stumbling out of the castle like yeah that, that, that oh was sad God, to see so as a kid I'm like oh my god and he's got the the blood on his yeah all over his, his face. Hair. That that yeah. that's what made it even harder as a kid to watch that. That he's covered in blood. He's he's crying like it's just you know oh my god. And to me as a kid, I'm like, well, someone leave this damn baby alone. <laughs> right. You know? I, I, it was like watching Ghostbusters too. Like it's Oscar. Would you leave the baby alone? It's like the baby. Kid, you know. But that's the I'll whole point, you, that's, man. That's what made Bad Mortar such oh, an bitch. amazing villain. Gosh, yeah. like, G. Marsh. Like, what, she was what, a she scary was villain. Scary she was very yeah. scary. Gosh, she she didn't give so a fuck, man. Like she was, she was gonna kill everybody's babies. Like she was like, kill that one just mm -hmm. in case. Yeah. You know? Go and, around uh, the, the world and just kill all the fucking babies. Yeah, mm -hmm. knowing that that opening of uh, uh, introduction where she's just taking all the pregnant women in the yep. in the realm and having them and just killing them all and. Yeah. Uh, it, it just it, 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 as a kid, you know, it, it, it's it's scary. But you think about it as an adult, like all all these pregnant women in this movie, like having their baby taken away from them, and you're it's just uh, it's horrifying. And that that shot when when oh Lord Dan's mother is like screaming at her, saying, you know, your reign of terror will end, and you see the fire glittering on Bad Morta's face, and she just goes, kill her. I remember seeing yeah. that in the theater, and it was just, yeah, you know, in complete yeah. awe. Uh, of of yeah. seeing it because of how menacing and uh, ugly I thought bad that more than was as a kid. Bad, God. bad woman. Especially at yeah. the end when she's all like sweating. And oh, and, and and she was scary, melting. but she was all craggly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I loved her. But G, G, I don't. I only know of Dee Marsh from uh, Return of Oz and this. I don't know her from anything else. And I know she's done all this stuff, but when she yeah. plays the uh, but those that, 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 that far too. She yeah. scared me in that. Too. She was yeah, Dorothy scary. Gale. Like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, it was his head like in the case. Yeah. Exactly. That God. was scary. But, God, uh, they used yeah. to make movies better. Kids yeah, they weren't afraid to be scare so much kids scarier. back then. Well, that's yeah. the, the one thing uh, going back in the, the 10 years since I had seen it that is something that... I, fuck, man. I, I dare say I feel like we didn't... We took advantage of it. We didn't know how good we had it back then and the fact that they they had to think about all right how are we going to make 
this chase scene and the snow and they're sledding down. How are we going to make this work? They actually had to, they, they weren't just, all right, we'll put it in the computer and we'll do it that way. No, they right. had to have a real location and yeah. have things work in this certain way. And uh, with the, um, with the wagon falling apart in that one chase yeah. scene. I, and I'm they're like, dragging behind the wagon. There were yeah. so many and things sliding. that they had to think about yeah. and plan out. And you're just like, holy shit. Uh, it's, uh, do you imagine how dangerous that stuff was back then compared to what they're going through now? Like mm -hmm. the the stuntmen. Some of those, some of those stunts up. of them like falling off. I mean, you yeah. you could see them hitting the ground so hard. Yeah. Like, there's no yeah. way to yeah. just take that easy. You know, yeah. you're just mm -hmm. when they, they were getting like tossed that. out of the buildings and stuff and landing. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but that's yeah. why films like this are, are going to forever be mem remembered and. All these current shitty Marvel and DC films that are all green screen and guys are refusing to wear the damn makeup and costumes because, oh, I don't want to do it. I'll just look like, you know, a generic. Uh, guys, uh, I I'll um, I got to go do some of the stuff. I I'm done for the night, but um, everything's OK. But uh, I just got to go do some stuff. OK. All okay. right. Take care, Dale. Right. I completely missed out. Like I was talking and all of a sudden Joe shows up and I, I couldn't. I. He said he what, has what to happened? go for the night. Yeah, he has, he has oh, okay. something to do. Yeah. Okay. We're just, gotcha. uh, we'll talk this up to uh, he didn't actually watch the movie. So he's like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. He, he couldn't he pull the a bunch of the conversation enough. Once Turned he got it off, to this part, like, oh, I'm like, bored. I don't know. <laughs> the insurance company called him about blowing up his house earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, but they, they just, they, they don't make movies. They like this. And I was and I, thinking about it too. Like, even though, uh, as Ren said, it, it does take a lot from Lord of the Rings, but I got to thinking about it too. And I'm just like, man, they don't. You think back to this time period, every genre, whether it was fantasy or comedy or horror, they were thinking outside the box, coming up with new ideas. It's like, right. well, let's take this. All right, let's see if it works. Yeah. And I don't know if that's so much as the business of Hollywood has changed so much that that they can't make more smaller movies that are actually creative. They have to rely on just, all right, well, uh, uh, here's another comic book movie. Uh, we have to have blockbusters back then the budgets were, you know, pretty sizable, but you could have a lot of in-betweeners and still make a shitload of money. And they just don't want to do that anymore. They're too safe. They don't. Um, and everything has to appeal to, mass audience as opposed to we can make films that appeal to only adults we can make films that only appeal to teenagers we can make only films that appeal to kids like no one it's all got to be we all got to be in the same damn theater together like you know mm -hmm. you can't have r-rated films for for guys you can't have r-rated films for women you can't have a pg-13 film that is directed towards you know 13 to 20 year olds it's all got to you got to you know get to get the kids in there too and it's um it's I just chalk too it up safe. to I chalk it up to our lack of attention span. You know, that's a every, that's a big part of it too. Everything mm -hmm. has to be super exciting and super bright and super, you know, punchy, um, or or else they'll they'll green tomato you or or whatever that thing is. And I like fried green tomato. That's a great film. Yeah, that is a good. Yeah, that, that's oh, a he, bad film. He's, ta he's talking about uh, rotten yeah. tomatoes. Uh, rotten, uh, rotten tomato, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, oh, the, oh, the, oh, the rotten that, tomato. You, that, and, God. And I, I remember Siskel and Ebert, man, would tell you, you know, what they thought was good and what they thought was bad. I used to get pissed you, off at them a lot. But, I mean, but they, but like they would tell movie. you, go see the movie and choose for yourself. These rotten tomato guys are like. I'm giving this an F, and everybody's like, man, Rotten Tomato said it's bad. You're like, Rotten you... Tomatoes is just a joke now. They don't even have faces. Yeah. Like, there's nobody speaking. It's all bought. All, yeah, all they, bought. If, if, they paid for, if they paid for the, you know, the spot, then they're going to get an A plus or a B or whatever, and then everybody's going to go see it, and they're going to be like, that movie was fucking garbage. Uh, and, and you're left watching a movie, but, like, the the pay like Netflix and all those guys I think that's a really smart way to film and make make movies because it doesn't it doesn't matter how many tickets are sold how many people go to the theaters 
if you watch the movie, it doesn't matter whether you hated it or not. It's 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 rated, and it gets views, and that's all that these newer uh, viewers care about views and likes and all this kind of shit. So, well, I, I will say the outlet for at least putting on streaming service is not corrupted by studios who are trying to chop the hell out of a R-rated film. You yeah. know, like you could put as much violence in an R-rated film on Netflix or Paramount or whatever, and you ain't got to worry about the MPAA chopping your film uh, to pieces yeah. to get a certain rating. Like you put it on Netflix... You know, you could be. I mean, it's not going to be X-rated, of course. But I'm like, if you want to go pretty raw with the I mean, violence, almost, you, can, you can do that. Stuff I've seen on Netflix. Yeah, just but yeah. John and I have talked about that before. We're like, in the '80s and '90s, it used to be, if you wanted to see blood and nudity and whatever, you'd go see a movie. That stuff would not be seen on TV shows. But yeah. now it's the opposite. Right. Now it's like, oh, the Game of Thrones and the Witchers and whatever. You know. Those are the TV shows are doing all the risky stuff where the movies are all playing it safe and like family friendly and everything. And yeah, movie theaters are like struggling. Like I just saw Regal Cinemas is get ready to shut down a bunch of their locations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, people just aren't going to movie theaters anymore. It's like, well, if they put out some quality stuff, then you know what? No, I I'd saw, be more inclined um, to go. But I'm I not. Saw Megan. Nothing... I mean, it was the first movie I've seen in a while, and uh, there was hardly anybody in the movie theater. There was, was it like any, two other Was it any people. good, or is it? I so really that, liked it. Did you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was like a child. It was play very ripoff. self uh, self aware of what it was. It was ridiculous and fun, and I liked it. Well, speaking of uh, like newer Hollywood and all, all this shit, I, I Rebecca is the only one that's watched oh. <laughs> the the Willow oh, show. God. But hang on, here we go. No, but you know, was... according to the new one, maybe Mount Martha she wasn't that bad. Maybe she was wasn't that bad. I, I I'm gonna you know, oh despite killing God. moms and babies. Ren, I think you and I have to go on like on a road trip and just uh, <laughs> beat the shit out of some people. <laughs> Hang on, I, I want I want to read this. Um, this oh is my God. this is an interview with the oh writer. Boy. This is this comes from uh, John Kasdan. I hope I pronounced his last. It name. It sounds like the name of a woke asshole. So <laughs> it says here, I'll I'll skip. From the, I, I just want to get to the quoted parts, more or less. I had an opportunity to speak with writer, executive producer, and noted Willow fan, John Caston. Following the show's finale, and I asked him about the decision to use these needle drops. Caston said he knew the choice would be divisive, but he felt the tone of Willow lent itself to a bit of rock and roll. He says, we wish... Oh, uh, we wish shit. We knew it would be divisive. One of the gifts of Willow as this not Star Wars thing was that we felt there was a freedom to experiment. And it was an experiment we were really eager to take on because so much of the spirit of the show, we wanted to have this youthful rock and roll sort of uh, anachronistic energy to it. Goes on to say... (laughs) What was that? (laughs) Yeah, what was that? It sounded like from Joe's house. (laughs) I don't know. Is Joe's mic still on? He's not in here, is he? No, he's not in here. No, it just sounds like something you hear from (laughs) Joe's basement. <laughs> that might have been my son. Oh. <laughs> he's playing oh. video games in the other room. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, he's, getting his, he's getting his ass kicked right now. Yeah, probably. Uh, he he that... plays uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto, so he's ah. probably getting fucked up. Oh, right. nice. Very nice. Val Kilmer really set the tone for all of us. The performance of Mad Mardigan and the character sort of set a precedent for, yeah, there's a looseness in this particular fantasy universe that can allow for a seasoning of, of a moment with a bit of contemporary music. There was he something wasn't we, contemporary, though. <laughs> there was something sorry, we wanted to try, <laughs> and we're excited to, and I think it worked for exactly as many people as it didn't, but I'm going to go ahead because I'm like, what has this guy done? So... God, I felt my blood pressure is rising right now as you're reading this. His and Tyler, uh, Tyler get a kick out of this. I get my so, head hurts. His first writing credential was for an episode of uh, titled "The Little Things on Freaks and Geeks." I actually like oh. Freaks and Geeks, but that that episode in particular, when I go back and think about it, I'm like, it had its moments, but not one of the best. Wrote for five episodes of Dawson's Creek. <laughs> Directed a movie this called. This explains in- a lot. I did not look up what he's done before. Directed, wrote and directed a movie called In the Land of Women that had, um, who is it, Uh, Adam Brody and Kristen Stewart in it. Uh, A movie called The First Time, which is another romantic comedy. Uh, Directed a movie called Roadies, which I've never heard of. 
wrote solo a Star Wars story and then came on here to do to produce and write Willow. And his next writing credit, unfortunately, is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Fuck. So that <laughs> that that is the writing credit. That's it. And I'm like, how how where do they pick this guy? Who up until this point? Disney is the closest thing we have to old Hollywood right now, where it's like we own these people and we're going to use these people for like everything. Tim Burton was kind of the same way, but Did, didn't I, I, everybody on on Mass hate? Uh, yeah, Lawrence Kasdan. Yeah, at least the, he could write good stuff. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. He wrote Red of the Lost Ark and uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, we Sorry, man. Yeah. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, didn't everybody hate Solo? I didn't want to see that piece of shit. I haven't watched it. I really I, 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 yeah, the I, guy ruined it for me. He's no, he's no Harrison Ford. There, there's so many of the things that are coming out now that it's, um, it's just like, eh. I don't uh, even watch Mandalorian season three. I'm like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out of Star Wars. I do not care anymore. I'm just, sick I'm so of this. burnt out. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I don't, I don't give a shit about any of it. Uh, it Only the original. Trilogy. Good point here from Sobic. And Disney has homogenized all these IPs to the point of it. It's just a machine now. And it yeah, is. Just, it just is like just Marvel, DC. Like it's there, there's it's it's move on to the next one. We we don't. And I said that while watching Willow. I'm like all these people I've seen in other Disney stuff before. I there I I'd come close to being like you know what I'll watch the first episode of this oh, series God. just to, no just to get a handle on. This whole thing, because I knew that there was they they used newer music and it, yeah, co did. covers of them, right? They use like covers. Oh, they use modern man. music. Yep, it yeah. cuts to uh, both. They use it in the show, and then at the end of every episode, there's some modern song that takes you right out of the fantasy element of it. Wow. Yeah, and so it's I, just so bad. I, and I, and the teenagers, they all talk like modern day teenagers. So and that was right. In the it's trailer, like, so. hey, what's up, mom? It's like, uh, what really? the fuck? And here's the queen. She's the only good part about it is her in Warwick. And uh, she's talking and she's acting like she's in a fantasy show. And then here comes her kid like, yo, mom, what's up? Oh. Like, what is this dialogue? So I mean, it, it's it's a Disney. It's like uh, there's a show where the, all the kids are the children of, of the Disney villains. Yeah. Oh, I know that one you're man. talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about that oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's one scene where Willow's like, "We're gonna kick their asses." He says right. that. He says that. Hmm. Hey, I mean, well, you know, I, I hope you got one big ass check for this. Man. I was gonna say at least he got paid good. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, when you got, to, I got when you got to, to do yep. that, you know, yeah. what's when you have to put <laughs> when he's when he's got to put up with this shit. You know? I was waiting for this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the the header for this episode. I, I should, yeah, shit, I should have made that. <laughs> yeah, Warwick backed out of the interview pretty quick and Joe showed him his uh, his cactus dick. <laughs> no, the, uh, me and John are going to do a review for Willow, but um, it's it's the worst remake or continuation of something that I've ever seen. It beats The Last Jedi for me, which is saying something. Oh my mm. god. Yeah, that must be pretty rough then. Maybe I'll just pass on. Uh, uh, I'll just uh, make. It, just no, because then I'll, I'll get twenty messages throughout the night. About how much? My Nathan thing is, it's so. Like, Why I did don't you watch feel it? like Why I'm did watching you Willow. <laughs> it's not even like if it wasn't for this character named Willow, it wouldn't feel like Willow at all, and it feels like they've not even watched the movie. So I don't know what he's talking about with Owie. Oh, we focus on Mad Mardigan to do this. I'm like, he didn't talk like that, and he didn't act like that. He sounds yeah. like that asshole who wrote Thundercats Ho, who's like, hey, it lends itself to comedy, so maybe you'll think the same thing too. Me and my fucking man bun. You know, <laughs> like, these assholes are just, you know, just making shit up to justify, you know, why they made all these drastic changes to a beloved property, and it's just like they all look at, you know, well, it's not my fault. It's, they just it's need you guys. to make their own thing. Yeah. No, they need to stop. They need to stop. Yeah. Stop making things. Just, just, just stop. Yeah. Well, they're, they, they're, they're opening up to give that same excuse. I, we didn't make it for the older people. This you is can't, you people. can't rely. Then that, but, why make it Willow? Yeah. 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 Call, 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 call. I agree. Believe me, I agree. It's a I, fucking I cop out. Agree. It's a but lazy that, ass excuse to get away with really doing is. something stupid. All of the recent remakes have have given the same excuse. You know, it, it's not your property anymore, and we're 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 making it for the new kids, and you know, it's it's not for you old cats. Like, come on, man, yeah, everything's yeah, for I, the old I, cats. But, we're the ones with money. 
but they have to bank on those people that actually fucking remembered it to show up to, exactly. to, to buy a ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need as much as say they don't need us. They they rely on us. They, need, they, to draw yeah, the they, they rely heavily enough because I, I don't know. They just don't want to believe that. Well, that, all right, Ren. How old is your son? He's fourteen. Is there? I don't know if you've had conversations with him about this at all, but is there anything if you're like, Hey man, here's this cool movie from the eighties. Does he look at you like, oh, that's, that's too old dad. Like I can't watch that. No. Um, he'll actually give it a chance. Like he, he listens to my music. He listens, he watches my movies. Um, and, uh, he's, he's really good about telling me how he feels about something. Uh, I, I had to, I, I nearly, uh, Took him out of my will when he told me that Rocketeer wasn't a superhero. <laughs> oh, but, what? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. He was younger though. He was he was much much younger. I was gonna say, what, uh, what do you need to have your your will? Because I would gladly <laughs> step in and be power of attorney, make sure that boy doesn't get shit. He was absolutely, you know, in, in the age of you know Captain America and and uh, all all that all that 3D shit. So you know, <laughs> later on, I sat him down. I said, "Listen, you need to watch it again. Now, now that your brain's a little more developed." <laughs> and uh, you know your your skull's gotten a little harder, so uh, you know, when I bop you, it, it won't hurt as bad. I said so, I had to make sure he was wearing know. a helmet for a while so I could smack the hell out of him. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's come around. He's come around. But it, it was all because it wasn't exciting to him. You know what? Uh, it, well, like I said, explosions and 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 all that stuff from attention uh, spans. It it does it, boil that's down. That's what it to is, that. man. They they need oh, they need God. that. Well, they because, need the fireworks that, and, and, that instant, and that instant like because it's all entirely they need like, the flashes it's, it's and the here. bangs, man. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I know that, but I'm like, how is it then that kids will go and sit through a three hour fucking Marvel Marvel movie or a fucking Avatar? It's three and a half hours long, but you show them a ninety minute film from 1990. And it's like, well, well, it's the same principle. If you got to think about this now, all right, let's say they are a high school age kid. When the Marvel Cinematic Universe started, man, they were like five years old. Yeah. So they're, they're I, oh man, I've loved this since I was a kid kind of mentality. But it's like, it's all it's right the here. same with us. Like TikTok. Casablanca TikTok. might not be the coolest movie for us. We're, we're, you know, we were getting 80s and 90s gold. And yes, a lot of those Alfred Hitchcock films or whoever made those awesome films back in the day, unless you're a, a film watcher, mm -hmm. when when you were my age, that shit wasn't cool. You know, I, yeah, I I'm, get that. I'm, I'm a lot older than you guys. So, like, I watched Alfred Hitchcock on TV. My mom loved it. I'm like, man, look at this bullshit. But as I got older, I'm like, okay, that's really cool. Like, and and the, uh, the Twilight Zone is fucking amazing. But... Mm -hmm. I didn't know it when I was when I was really really young. I'm like, man, why is my mom watching this this shit? Like, what is this guy with this? Did his face just fall off? There is some truth you to know? that because you would so, see, like, even it's, for me, it's as just a, a kid, generational depth. Yeah, I would see yeah. black and white movies sometimes and just be like, ah, eh. yeah, I was like that as a kid. Now there it wasn't were exciting. certain things. Yeah. It wasn't exciting, man. Like color was was everything. Yeah, like you know, and and. I was able to see the transition into having a black and white television, which was literally this big. I mean, same. With, with three fucking buttons. Yeah. And then the getting, dial. Yeah. The, it was, click. Yeah. You know, and then you're getting this this big ass color TV and everything is in color except for those old black and white movies. And you're like, why are they doing that? And then they were technicoloring everything for a while. Mm -hmm. And you're like, that looks cheesy as shit. Like, it doesn't even look real. But, you know. I remember I bought shit. King Kong in color on VHS. I thought, this is awesome. It's it a box crowd. Terrible. <laughs> I thought it was so cool to see King Kong the in color, man. The fucking color like, couldn't yeah. stay on him. He was like, ah, I'm juking the colors. Like, ah. <laughs> no, but that was one film as a kid I, I sat through and, and was, I, yeah, was in, I was invested in King Kong, like, as a child. Like, well, I, I, I was. Yeah, but you're not going to sit down and be like. Who was your Devon's Well, no, but I will say, like. The, like the Universal Monster movies, I fell asleep watching Dracula, the Creature from the Black Lagoon as a kid. I, I, I was like, when are they going to show up? And I, I, I remember falling asleep. I'm like, I was, there was so much hype to watch this as a kid, and they 
But like Wizard of Oz, those old guys, man, they were in that shit. But 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 that was that was top filmmaking for that time. Mm -hmm. And I and I and I pre I guess just as a kid, I see the I see the VHS covers. I was renting books in the library about the Gilman and Dracula and the Wolfman. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting! And then it's just like a love story, and like. Okay, where's the wolf thing going to show up? When's the creature going to show up? Where's it? I don't want to see just behind trees. Like, yeah, I saw the I'm creature. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I was I'm on the edge like, of my seat watching that movie as a kid. It scared uh -huh. the shit out of me. Yeah. But, like, I live in Florida, so, like, my backyard looks like that. So, I, ah. it's easy for me to imagine that, like, he's going to just appear in my backyard. The same with the wolf, man. Those two scared the shit out of me. But it, it goes back to the whole point, too, that we, like, put us on this whole sidetrack. They don't make movies like this anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and we all know it, but, you know, if they really wanted to, they could. Because uh, very few very few uh, studios <clears throat> want to take chances anymore. They all want sure things, whereas, like, back at least in the 90s and maybe even early 2000s to a certain extent. And I'll, I'll give Lord of the Rings credit, Newland Cinema, for taking the gamble on a, a fantasy trilogy that had not been proven. Like no one was, no one knew that people were going to turn out in droves to watch three fantasy films back to back, year after year after year, and make so right. much money off of it. Whereas this, and, and I think it's often been said, a lot of the fantasy films in the eighties weren't that profitable. You know, even well, though Conan the Barbarian did well, it was not. You know, it didn't do Jaws numbers. You know, yeah. in the right, summer it of eighty one. Blockbuster like that. No, it did very well for a rated R film. Mm -hmm. But knowing that they tried to make toy lines from that movie several times, including Mattel, you know, obviously it did well enough, but like Willow did all right. It wasn't a big blockbuster. Dragon Slayer, um, uh, I was trying to think, uh, Lady Hawk, uh, yeah, Labyrinth Lady. and the Dark Crystal didn't do that well. Dark either. Crystal, yeah, Labyrinth, they were all flops. They, but, they, the, they just, but, the th but the thing Legend is, was another didn't... flop. Yeah, but but what's weird is even though they didn't make a lot of money, somehow the genre was still very popular. Yeah, and I I feel it like came it, afterwards. VHS I, brought a lot of those movies back. Yeah, that, that's why VHS well, that, saved all of those That's why I was introduced to to all of them. Yeah, being a nice blockbuster. Kid. Blockbuster the store saved all of those films. That and all the mom and pop shops that popped up in the late yeah. '80s and '90s because mm -hmm. they were all over the place. Because we. Yeah. We didn't. We only had one blockbuster. It didn't show up till like around the the uh, like ninety one, ninety two. So we had to rely on like the one beside a Kroger. Yeah, the one in Blacksburg. They yeah. used to be there. Yeah, because yeah. that wasn't there for a long time. Otherwise, it was like King Video, Beyond yeah. Video, Entertainment yeah. Tonight, yeah. Two Thumbs Up, all two, these like local mom and pop places. Yeah, Two Thumbs Up was uh, my go to. Willow, yeah. the but anyone without looking, anyone want to take a stab at what the budget was for Willow? I think it was seventeen dollars and thirty seven cents. <laughs> oh come on, man! What? I almost say probably Too around much? 50, 50 million. No, there's no I can't, way. I can't, I, I, I can't remember. Newt, you got to guess. She, she, Thirty-five million was the budget. Thirty-five million. That but you got to think. Well, you got to think too. Uh, they shot the. I looked up the locations last night because I'm sitting there. I'm like, man, where did where, these? Oh well, yeah, where they shot like in New Zealand and yeah, um, yeah. the before UK, Lord of the Rings did, and then in the yep. UK. California, they shot there too. Yeah. So, but yeah, I was sitting there. I'm like, man, the, these snow-capped mountains. Where the fuck did they go and film this? Yeah, they take like helicopters to fly the cast in for that stuff. Like that was that was uh, that's that's you know classic old school guerrilla filmmaking. Like you 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 can't just walk to the set and drive your car. No, you take a helicopter up the mountain. Yeah, and yeah. you got to think about that. You're getting frostbite. Yeah, making these films, man. And you got to think about this too. Leeches on your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It would be so much easier nowadays to get certain shots. Before they had to have a helicopter and make the shot. Now you can just spend two hundred dollars and get a drone and just yeah. get the shot. And it's like right. Well, they, it, they're so cute. yeah. In old movies where you can it. see like the shadow of the helicopter. The shadow of the helicopter. Yeah. A little, a little bit of the shake too. Uh, but but it's just so much freaking effort they had to put into it because it's like. Well, it's they like, they did well, that in that movie we were talking about last boat. week, where the guy was hanging on the mountain. Oh, cliffhanger! Oh, cliffhanger! We're going back to that. Not again. Demolition yeah. Man, or yeah, Demolition Man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is another thing. It's like th that was a, a fun premise. Why can't we just yeah. have some weird bullshit like that anymore? You can't. It's amazing. We have bullshit, just not in the same way. Oh, not yeah, yeah not yeah, not in a good. Oh, it's they, like, they don't make movies. The for, thing with for... my, people though is they know it's shit because when they defend it, all they can say is turn your brain off and enjoy it. Uh, that like, works so you know in certain bad. scenarios but all right so there's the movie coming out 
I, I, I'll watch. I, all right, I'll check out the trailer for this because that fucking cocaine bear. Everyone was losing yeah. their mind about it. What? It's, it's it's based on ba- a true story. Based on a true story really? about a bear that got. I think there was like this shipment of cocaine that like <laughs> dropped somewhere, and a bear got into it, and then he starts it killing went people. Fucking right? Crazy, kill people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You think it would be? Oh, sure. But then you watch a trailer, and it's just a bunch of it just doesn't look good. CG horse shit, and you're Sounds like, like Sharknado. Uh, it's being almost. goofy, and you're just like, what is this? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a, with that premise, you kind of, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's like, all right, sure, I get it, but there's a way to to make that how I'm thinking of it in my head. Of wanting like it Yeah, to but they, they would rather, rather make it silly horror as opposed to like, okay, you could make this like a really good effect of horror movie. Mm-hmm. But, but that's another thing, too, this obsession with having to make everything funny. Like, people can't go to the movie and watch a classic balls-to-the-wall, like, tough guy action movie. It's got to be funny. The trailers are gotta and be that funny. Was the, wheel, the tone has gotta be funny. Everybody was fucking comic relief. Everybody was acting like how not they weren't acting like the brownies, but like imagine the whole cast was the brownies in the original movie, except uh, not as funny or cute as the brownies. Uh, well, I was gonna. That was everybody's one thing, goofy. One thing I did want to make sure that I mentioned when I was watching it last night when the brownies first showed up, I'm like, oh fuck, Do I, are they just? I can't remember. Are they going to be really annoying? But then you really warm up to them. Yeah. yeah. They are annoying, but it, it's, you understand <laughs> that course. that's their character to be annoying. And, but to them, they're like the most badass characters in the movie. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. but that's they're what like, they're it, like, that's what makes it work. Everybody, it's we're class, killing everything. Comedy. And you're like, yeah, but. So you know, everything else can take itself seriously, but then when you need that They don't that think relief. that they're funny. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, yeah. they don't take themselves as a joke. Mm-hmm. Now I, I, I took and that's them, what makes them f- so funny. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I will say the funniest line is, uh, all you did was sit around and eat our eggs. Ah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I, it's yes. kind of, I, I love that line, but I, I, I did think that they were, they were frightening when, uh, um, uh, friend Jean is, uh, is riding that, that, uh, Hawk Carol mm-hmm. or Dana while she's crying. We I'm stole like, the baby. I'm like, that baby. I felt so bad for that. For hey, her. that baby was this far off the He's ground. Oh, I know. It's like flopping <laughs> around. And, <laughs> and then when they have him tied down and uh, dragging them along the dirt, yeah, and, yeah. You know, yeah. Like all of his travel, jabbing them like they were yeah. stabbing yeah. them with those needles. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I was, I was frightened for, for, for me, gosh, and well, like, I stole it from a stupid die Kenny. <laughs> I was like. Oh man! I, I did. Uh, I think I, actually my favorite uh, line that the brownie says uh, when they pop in is like, "We are here. You are saved." Yeah, yeah. I just I, I like the whole. Uh, of, I, yeah. I use your mother was a laser. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the coolest characters in the movie uh, outside of uh, Man Mardigan, which we have not focused on at all. No. Well, go ahead, and he's the best no. character. No, he's not. the best character Uh-oh. in probably he's any not. movie. He's yeah, I, I, I reenacted that fight scene with him and General Kelly with my brother so many times. Like, oh, nice! From ta- from taking the sword to the jaw, but I had to do it gently so I wouldn't make my brother cry and get <laughs> on Did you? You were always mad, Martigan. I, I, I was like, I was like, I had to pose. I had to win. You know, so <laughs> my brother always had changed. to be. Not much has changed, so my brother always had to be the bad guy, and I had to be the hero. Terrible. So, uh, yeah, so bad guy the best. Oh man, it's we we even did like. You know, I'm lying on the ground, and then I like flip the sword around and get my brother in the side, and then pull my brother down onto the other sword. Like, all right, now you get to now you get to die. Like, oh, I, <laughs> I, I was. I made my brother reenact all of it, man. It was it was it was great. But I, I I could not wait to see this two duke it out on screen, and I just knew it was coming. Even when I was, um, I guess I would have been four or maybe five when I saw it on VHS when when it first came out. But I had I had the figure of Mad Morgan as a kid, and when I finally saw him on screen, I'm like, "That's him." And uh, it was the first time I saw Val Kilmer in. And then when he gets his uh, armor, when they get to Tyrus Lean, I'm like, oh, "That's what my figure looks like." He's, wearing, he's dressed like my figure. I'm like, oh man, here we go. And, and I, I didn't like the helmet he was wearing with like with like the, yeah, the, the that, tail. Yeah. You know, yeah. I thought it looked goofy as hell. But uh, but I, I I God, he was so cool. Like I I just. 
you know that that goofy that shit eating grin. He's like, look at him, and he's like smiling, he, like dirt and shit all over his teeth, and just smiles <laughs> at him. Oh yeah, the first introduction you really get to him. Yeah, he's like locked in the, the little. Uh, oh yeah, cage. give me some water, Peck, or you die. Yeah, he's so mean. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. It's uh, and that's that's a line that my family use. Oh, I'm sorry, Peck, 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 Peck. <laughs> you know, we, my mom, dad, we could all say that. We all, we were all quoting well over. Oh, do you think that having that term, because it is kind of derogatory towards the little people in the movie, do you think that that was sort of their workaround of being like, all right, we need a, a word to use. So, and so apologies, I'm going to say the word, everybody. So just to calm down, don't cancel me. To not have to say midget a bunch of times, do you think that was part I, of the process? I didn't think or? that. I, I, I could say you could call anyone who's irritating you or do you think it's an irritant a peck. Right. Like, because a peck, when you peck someone, it's irritating you. So yeah, that's how uh, I took it. Yeah, that's in, how. In that, in that movie, it was, it was derogatory to those specific people. Cause, yeah, cause well, some of the other, but that's what he's calling them. But I, I, but I never took it uh, up until yeah. Nathan brought that. I never thought that when he says that, right. he's being right. derogatory, even though they are small people. Mm-hmm. I just took it like he's doing it to be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. you know. But, because but it's but it's not just Mad Mardigan though. The other no, characters no, in the yeah, universe yeah, refer they, to they them as it, pecs. Yeah, yeah well, it's a very because you know sources. I don't need help from a peck. Yeah, you but know? that's the so, cool thing. Like everybody had their own term. Language. Like, like the uh, 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 I still use it, and I, my mind's going blank right now. Um, what they call the humans? Uh, um, um, Dakinis. Dakinis. Like mm. I love the word daikini for whatever reason, it 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 seems it seems kind of sexy to me. Uh, <laughs> oh, was, Rand, Rand calls it his date that night. You're my you're my daikini. Some daikini. You know, it, 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 it was my cool. daikini's wearing a bikini. Yeah. So, What's yeah. up, daikini? So yeah, uh, I, I I I I freaking love the movie, man. Uh, I, well, no, I, gonna, I would refer to my dog off. sometimes as uh, Bobbins. Like when, when Ross goes around Nathan, I'd refer to him, I'm a little Bobbin. Like, come here, little Bobbin. You know, I thought it was a, a sweet oh, name to call, call the kids. children. Yeah. I don't, but, I don't have kids, but if I did, I would dress them like that with little acorn hats. And, <laughs> and, 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 and when, uh, uh, oh, uh, the, the little girl, um, Mims, when she's sitting, when they, when they see a Lord Dan in, in the river, and she's sitting there with with the doll, just kind of clicking the legs together, just like looking and yeah. curiosity. So and sweet. They they are sweet, and that, that look that the Lord Danny gives the kids when she's just like that big ass head of curly red hair. Yeah, and it's just, that was such an it, expressive baby. Oh it man, was, one, one like, little how, how hard was that probably to make sure to get those shots? Because you imagine there's just like people behind the camera waving stuff like, hey, hello, uh, make this. But, yeah. but, but knowing how sweet she looked when she smiles or laughs, it was worth all the time you put into oh, it. Yeah. That, that, little, that little baby warms your heart every time she smiles. Even when she pukes, you know, like, oh, oh yeah. look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on Burger Cut. Ah, take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's the, the, it's there isn't as much as Ren has took a shit on this film that I hold near. That's in my top ten films of all time. Which he does. He does have his notes, which we will. We, we well, do well, need to start. We know. Through. We know. You know. Ren likes to live, live to be the bane of my existence. And when we meet in person, we will have the ultimate face off. You know, it will be super <laughs> fight one, two, three, and four put together. You know, and it, um, yeah. I mean, it, it'll just be like the Rocky loves in Rocky Four when they come. Bam! It's, it's, it's gonna, you know. <laughs> It's 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 gonna be you know, Joe's house will get set on fire again somehow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll blow. Oh, as soon as soon as oh, it's built is. again, that guy. Uh, is this uh, Val Kilmer? Uh, is this your favorite role of his? Absolutely, uh, yes. hands down. Has been has been yeah. since I was a child. You know, I saw. Uh, he's done so many great things, but mm-hmm. he Mad Morgan was. The first, like, outside of seeing the live action He Man, like, the first, like, fantasy swashbuckling hero, even before, like, seeing Prince of Thieves, like, Mad Mardigan, that character, the swordsman who looks cool. I want to be him. He gets the girl. You know, he's just awesome. He's kicking ass left and right. I'm like, how do you, how could you not want to be that? Like, I think it's, uh, it's close. It's either that or Doc Holliday from Tombstone. Well, I, I mean, but Doc that, Holliday that, is absolutely number one for me. I, and I would never argue that because I'll be your he, 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 he steals it. There's one we got to do. We got to discuss Tombstone. Which I'm Tombstone is my absolute favorite Western movie. 
See, Quick and the Dead is right next to Tombstone for me because that's how damn good that movie is. Mm. Yeah. And, no, and I see, I, I see just crickets like when I said that. Because yeah, so, overall, I, I hate Western movies. I'm not going to lie about it. Oh, well, that. I, 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 I get that because they, they are slow, but those two, I think yeah. even Rebecca would like, like Quick and the Dead. And she's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> we had to make sure. We had to yeah. make sure. I'm, I'm just saying. Sure, just saying. Rebecca's a girl. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, and I'm not working for Hollywood anytime soon. <laughs> but but I get people stigma on westerns because most of them are slow yeah. as shit. Yeah, my well, grandmother loved yeah. westerns, man. And I can't stand them. Well, I think it goes back to what you were saying, Ren, before about um, being a certain age and the black yeah. and white movies or what. Yeah. I think westerns definitely, whether they were black and white or color, kind of follow that same pattern of yeah. Most westerns, at least the good ones that I've seen. You're talking two and a half, three hours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you think about our western for for my age group, and, and you guys getting into that the end of of that run, eighties and nineties was was the commando style, you know, shoot 'em ups. So yeah. yeah, it was it was just more explosion, more bang, more running, and more you know shit talking and one liners. So you know, the westerns just didn't have it. They were, they were riding around and talking shit and da -da -da. he was like, God damn, is that another fucking bush rolling through the background? Like, why the fuck are these tumbleweeds all see, over the place? That, that's why you guys need to see quick in the day. It's a tournament about gunfighters. You got uh, Gene Hackman's the villain. You got Leonardo DiCaprio, Russell Crowe, Lance Henderson, Keith David, Sharon Stone, directed by Sam Raimi. All and, and other character actors have been in other films, all playing gunfighters in a tournament. Rand doesn't <laughs> look impressed. You telling me that Gene Hackman and Keith there, Leo DiCaprio, Russell Crowe playing a a, a gunfighting preacher with a with, with a, uh, a questionable? Oh my god! You know what? What? Everybody you know, but why? Leo. I don't care about Leo DiCaprio. I'm no, just saying. Yeah, but this is but right. everybody else. This is was cool. before Titanic. Come on. Yeah. This. Yeah. This is way before. <laughs> he's little. He's Nathan, you got a drink. Look. <laughs> 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 it's just like this hand comes in. <laughs> I, I, wish, I, wish, I wish Emily came in and made that lark noise. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell her to do that next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but, uh, Quick and the Dead's on Netflix, Rand. Go ahead and watch it. Okay. Yeah. And I think uh, okay. run, run time. I, you know what? I, I just need to send one cl one clip to you guys. I, and I know I'm not trying because I'm not a big Western fan anyway. But I'm telling you guys, this is the film that got me to what big. Well, I was like tournament, Mortal Kombat. This is awesome. Uh, that's actually funny you say that because we got this simple tricks and nonsense. There you go. <laughs> it, it, it is nice, nice Avatar you got there. A little simple yeah. Jack. Uh, yeah. I, want, I wonder why he <laughs> yeah. put that. I wonder why he's simple Jack. Uh -huh. I don't know. Because he um, liked that movie. <laughs> I mean, I he do, just I, likes to wear T-shirts with moose on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do like Tropic Thunder. That was a good one. But uh, Ren, let's get into your list. That, yeah, that okay. Way let, you, let, that let, way, let, you and Tyler can argue. Yeah, your list. Yeah, is full. I have, I have a list. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. All right. So it, it's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, short. Uh, Bad Marty was an amazing. Uh, evil like your person. dick. Uh, <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Start from the beginning. Sorry, you were going. We were. Oh yeah, yeah. Bad Martyr was the was was the best part of this movie. Uh, unfortunately, I, I'm not a huge fan of, of George Lucas. I just found out that he was the one. Oh, that, neither am I. That made it, but um, and we talked about a, a lot of this stuff. Gwildor being trash in the movie. <laughs> oh, Mad um, Martigan. Oh. He wasn't was, even was, in it that long when you think about it. He was in he it. He was so good. Way too long. Really far, that's just his voice. The magic and lies with not... it, damn it. Yeah, but he, he was a hack magician. There was no hack. In, it in was this more movie, about just, the like, just like he, man, Did you he, watch he the had movie no movie real magic. Point? He threw the damn bird up in the air and was like, follow the bird. And they was like, the bird's going home. He's like, don't listen to the I bird. The bird. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's only doing that because he knows I'm right. And it was <laughs> full of I mean, shit. Listen, I <laughs> love the movie. Joe's back. <laughs> however, it was, uh, I'll say it was the precursor to Lord of the Rings. Uh, I will give it its its due because it came out before. I think Lord of the Rings took a lot of cues 
from this film uh as far as as far as getting the team together and and moving the way it did in the films i i, yeah. I can't i can't remember i, I think i think the, the tone books. of willow is more serious than lord of the rings it's definitely more serious however the the beat of the movie is very lord of the ringish as a whole oh i mean I, I, like but i also I feel like that, that's similar to me is little people and then the like just the little people i don't think it has a lot uh, it's it, much it was, in common was, with lord of the rings you got them together it, it's as much a Lord of the Rings knock as knockoff as um, Star Wars is a Flash Gordon knockoff because it was kind of made the same way as Star Wars, where Star, uh, George Lucas was interested in making Flash Gordon movie, and they're like, you can't do that. So it's like, well, I'm going to write my own thing. And it was the same with this. I heard that he wanted to do Lord of the Rings, and he couldn't, so he's like, well, I'm going to make my own fantasy movie. So it's kind of made the same way. Yeah. Well, we all know he's I, an I, actor I, I bullshitter anyway. You know, the, the, the guys just said, "I got, I got three films." Lined but what up, I'm saying know. is, it's as much a Lord of the Ring knockoff as uh, Star Wars is a Flash Gordon knockoff, which nobody would consider Star Wars a Flash Gordon. But I, knockoff. but I appreciate that all these films because people, I've heard people say it's a rip off of uh, Lord of the Rings, and that's when I would, you know, uh, smash their head out of the rack. <laughs> Damn. You know, I, because everybody, all, all of the films that we celebrate that all of us champion, all are. Flat throwbacks, of references something of something else. That, I mean, hell, it, it, they've even said that you know the Star Wars, or the first Star Wars is you know a bunch of Akira Kara uh, Sawa it's, films. It's you know? Right. Yeah. It's, you know, it's but but but, but then like you know, Yojimbo was turned into you know a uh, 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 good. Uh, I was trying. To, uh, I think for a few dollars more, or yeah. a fistful of dollars. Mm -hmm. yep. And then Last Man Standing with Bruce Willis. That's also the exact same story. And I don't think it's, you know, it's, it's done with gangsters. It's the same story, but you know what? It's awesome. And uh, people might say, well, Tyler, Avatar is the same thing. And you, you shit all that. Well, it's because it's a piece of shit movie. I don't want to say it. In the <laughs> yeah, it, it takes elements from Pocahontas and Fern Gully and, uh, and Dancing with Wolves and, and Last Samurai. And, and, and yeah, and puts but, it all together. But Willow does make it its own thing. It's not. No, yeah. I, I, I'm not taking away from Willow in, in, the, in the slightest. Like I said, if, if anything. Lord of the Rings took from Willow, right. um, and and that that that's the that's the the hill I'm standing on as far as including that's the, you know, filming I, in I, New Zealand. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and I, 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 mean, I love that too that they actually have little actors, little yes. people as, as the main playing, actors. As yeah, the main, yeah. The and you main know what, Willow antagonist. is the star, and as opposed to Lord of the Rings, where we're just going to get actors. You know, just, that's all that always bothered me a little bit. And you know what it's all because as I film. love Elijah Wood and Sean Astin and all the hobbits in that movie, yeah. and now I wouldn't replace them for the world, but I felt like it was taking roles away from little people. Yeah. I thought it was kind of yeah. like you're going to put all this time and effort and unnecessary technology instead of just hiring actors who already fit what you're looking for, who can act, true, mm -hmm. and you know, and not be authentic. The characters are small in size why would you not want to get actors who not only fit and can act i, I don't i don't i mean I, unless it it did it really did boil down to peter jackson really wanting to i want to do this perspective filmmaking to make them look smaller uh, maybe that was just more his decision than anything else i i don't know has that ever been went stated up king kong so uh. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like his side story. Was Little Jimmy? Fuck that movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all that's like the one thing that just breaks Tyler from that movie. He's like, I can't stand the Jimmy character in that whole arc. Hail hey, like, and the Skipper talk all these like side rants. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, yeah shut the, the fuck up, man. Both of you, get off the screen. You're like, you're I, the reason this movie's over three hours. Oh my god, all the shitty Jack Black lines. Like, oh my god, he's not called Denim. He's an asshole. He's so I, I liked it a lot back then, but I am kind of worried if I watched it now. I'd be like, no, oh, no. Man, what was I thinking, man? You would rather look at your butthole. You're gonna wish you look at your butthole. <laughs> no, that, no, I did what, not like he, that movie either, he's, Tyler. He's, he's that referencing one. one of my Yahoo movie reviews back yeah. in the day. Yeah, I think. Well, we were, what was it? Was it was either a... Slumber Party Massacre or Spawn. I'm not sure which. <laughs> or maybe it was Wolfen. I think it was Wolfen. Where yeah. I said I'd rather just stare my Wolfen. ass Wolfen, is that the for... one with... Uh, with the Edward James almost shows his wiener and runs yeah. around on the beach naked. Yeah, his balls are flopping around. Yeah. I, I should have asked him about that when I met him. I didn't see that one. Hey, I've seen you naked, dude. 
What yeah, he just hell? like ju- he just jumps out in front of uh, uh what what's his name? I, uh, the guy with the the puffy hair. He ends up showing his ass in that movie too. It's just another bunch of, bunch of naked dudes and no wolf. <laughs> yeah, he what just jumps out and he's like, ah, and yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's, like, like, <laughs> he's like, look at my dick, right? look at my dick, <laughs> <laughs> look at my dick. Those those some good college nights right there. <laughs> I was gonna say if it's streaming anywhere, just skim through it until you get to that part. No, no, through, don't stream it. Just, just stream I'm watching good. your butthole for an hour. For an hour. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. An hour. I've not seen that movie. I think I would have remembered that if I've seen it. Yeah. Well, I was, Dolph. I was mistaking that for the one. What was the werewolf? Movie? Rebecca remembers all the dicks she's seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was pretty jarring when Tyler and I were we rented it and we were watching it, and it just like happens, just like ah. Oh. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> oh, oh man, no, 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 Castillo from Miami Vice naked. No, <laughs> what are you no. Doing? Yeah, and then, and then Tyler couldn't watch Miami Vice for five years after that. Oh man, <laughs> God! Oh, what else you got on that list, Ren? That's about that? it. That's about it. Yeah, it was a short list. I uh, kept hey. it. Uh, kept it pretty well. Short. Obviously, he uh, he couldn't come up a whole lot to piss me off. So, I I I, I said <laughs> earlier, I <laughs> love the movie, <laughs> man. But yeah. I love the movie. It was just, uh, you know, I, I I didn't like Willow or, or uh, Gwildor. <laughs> so you you hated approximately five minutes of this movie. Five minutes, yeah. Well, uh, more than that. It was more than that. Every time he came on screen, I was like, "Damn, there's Gwildor." And the dogs, I did, I didn't really like the dogs either, man. All the dogs are awesome. The, the dogs come charging into the village. The dogs yeah. are not scary. The dogs and you, the trolls just scared the shit out of me. I'll tell you what was scary. The trolls were kind of funny, but when when the one turned into the fucking two headed monster, why didn't All we talk the, about that? Oh yeah, what was yeah, we have yet to talk about the dragon. Uh, we got to talk about that the at some point too. It was named after uh, a sister called Ebert. Yeah, really? Ebor sis dragon. That's what it's called. The Ebor oh. sis dragon. Yeah. yeah. That was wow. it. Thank you. I was like, what was it called again? Yeah. If you look there, up the yeah. toy, the name on the box, the Ebor Sis Dragon. It's never, I don't think it's ever. It's not said in the movie. It's just no. Like, they don't name right? check it. That's yeah. just what they uh, what the Tonka company. And of course, they, they trashed this movie when it came out. I like to trash yeah. everything else. I loved that thing. It was that uh, dragon was amazing looking. It was yeah. eating people left and right. Yeah, that thing was eating everybody, it was man. It didn't care. With, like its towels and it's like yeah, that out. Wicked thing on the box. Yeah, with that, with, yeah, what? with that 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 kind of like a turkey neck that it had. Yeah, you know? that was and when that cool fire part, would build man. up and blow and fire. And God. the freaking teeth, yeah. it didn't have lips or anything. Like so, the teeth were out the whole time, mm-hmm. and you could tell it was just it was just the accordion was was covering the 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 jaw spring thing, whatever. And uh, I love that. Freaking when when they uh That's when awesome. they grab a hold of one of the trolls and they they tearing at it, yeah. I, I just like as a kid watching like it pluck a guy off a horse and yeah and, and tearing him uh, like the troll they, apart like oh they my cut god at just the right moment so you don't <laughs> yeah. get, like it's but, implied but, you don't see but you, it but yeah and that's enough. all I needed just knowing yeah. that that poor troll as much of an asshole as he was. Is being chomped down at the same time. He did not time. deserve it. <laughs> like, nobody deserved that kind of death. God, he did man. not deserve it. Very yeah. like all very he was nice trying to do was eat, man. He just wanted to eat. Oh, he was hungry. Geez. But I love how Mad <laughs> Morgan just looks like, like, oh fuck it, and it just jumps right on top. Jumps out of yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's so cool. I love and the source is just just getting all hot and bothered, just watching like what a badass he is, you know, like yeah, that, that, that's a man's man, <laughs> like. A woman just watches and kick ass, and she's just like, "Oh my god!" And she's just, she just, you know, she's ready to you know, change her whole life and say, "Fuck my mother!" And uh, I'm not, you know. Well, you got to think of her upbringing, growing up with that mother, and then for the first time, somebody's like showing you love and appreciation. Yeah, and, and it's I like, like of how they're going to be drawn to that. that. And, and I, of course, you know, you're going to be enchanted by that, especially if it's coming from Val Kilmer. Well, yeah, because I imagine most men probably didn't hit on her. You know, because yeah. she probably is probably like, you know, afraid, very, but... very intimidating, and, and you know, what, what, what man is going to go hit on their queen's daughter mm-hmm. and that not queen. run the risk? Yeah, that specific so, queen's daughter. Yeah, I'm yeah. not messing with her. Hell no. And fuck plus, around, she, she's around, very a, a, a rat myself. Uh, uh, well, not to mention, like when Val makes that first advance, so she pulls a knife, and at one moment, Jack Ashton, you really will be a woman. Like, she's ready to castrate mm-hmm. his ass right there. She's not someone you want to fuck around with. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and I'm sure it's probably one one guy or two over the years probably hit on her. He he probably lost his uh, manhood pretty quickly. 
So, uh, but it, it makes her such an interesting character, knowing that uh, in the like the deleted scenes, um, she sees her father frozen at Tiris Lane. Like, like that's where her father lived. Was he was king, of, and he's at the end of the film. And that one shot where there's uh, sources holding a Lord Dan and standing with Val Kilmer, there is a a king with this long white beard. That's her father. Really. And that's in the deleted scene. So that's the only shot that you know of, of her father that, that he is alive. Um, and there's a backstory to that too. We don't, and you don't hear too much about why they separated, what caused that riff, um, or did she ever know? Is her there father? a novelization? Of, of, I'm sure there is. I wonder if it's in that because I've not I read. Th I think I think there is a novel, but I I I could not tell you if the novel carried that storyline. I need or not. to look it up. And that's I the only. I need to read. I need to read. Yeah, the, I think yeah. Chris Claremont worked on the books. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. the, yeah, the Shadow of the Moon and yeah, the Shadows, yeah. I I never read them, but uh, I because I didn't know what I used to see them in books. Me and all the time, I had no idea for years mm -hmm. that those were the sequels to Willow. Because it's and so I, small on the on the thing, it's like it says the title and then based on the movie Willow. Well, and plus it's the covers are very generic looking, and and plus you know I, I lose interest in reading pretty quickly, <laughs> um, <laughs> so. I, mean, I, 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 got, I got I got I got Scotty Pippen's uh, biography like t like last year. I read like four chapters and I quit, and I just have not gone back since. So I mean, mm -hmm. I, it just uh, I think the Last Dance is enough to get all you need to know. Well, Scottie yeah, Pippen, you know? plus well, you when Michael Jordan comes out and like book. apologizes to Scotty Pippen about like the direction, like okay, okay, makes the book meaningless. But I, I I you know if it's based on a movie, I I probably should go and read those books. But you know, it's got to be better than the shit Disney did. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's it's, it's 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 a low bar, but uh, I always felt that, that that this this movie could have had like plenty of sequels. We could have had more villains show up, you know, Mad Mark and the more adventures and stuff like that. Well, but, why do um, you think that that never came to pass? The movie because just it didn't do well. Yeah, was, it didn't do well in the theater. Yeah, it did well, but not enough to um, yeah, you know, la launch a series, and you know, um, everyone else kind of went and did other stuff, and it. it it's, it was pretty much George Lucas's kind of last two raw for a long time, you know, and he he didn't direct; he just produced it and wrote the story. But um, and then he was you know. like, "Well, that failed. Went back to Star Wars." Yeah. <laughs> or or fucking around with you know, THX, or you better buy it now because I'm gonna take it away, and then I'm yeah. gonna release a shitty special edition. <laughs> uh, of course, I was naive. I thought those were awesome when they first came out. What the hell? hell was I thinking? mean, you know. It's that um, that wonderment of well, getting to see Star Wars on the big screen was a big deal to me as a kid because I, I I knew that that hoopla. and they weren't oversaturating everything like hey you remember this right this was kind of uh, sort of the start of all of that starting to trickle yeah. down and happen well and I thought it was so cool to see that uh, cut scene of Jabba even though it was shitty looking but it was so cool to see new or cut scenes put back in there and then. Boba Fett walks on screen and winks at you like, oh, oh, it's awesome. <laughs> <You know>. Stupid. <laughs> Fuck those movies. Yeah, and even as a kid, that job, I was like. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah, my he, job. He, he might as well walk on screen. Just, that's right. You know, like, <laughs> like oh, so yeah. stupid. Because like, that's what he does in the in Return of the Jedi special. He's walking around, you know, touching touch divas on the chin. It's like, Boba Fett doesn't oh, yeah. back on women. <laughs> He doesn't do any oh, of that stuff. Oh, Boba Fett loved the ladies. I did, but to see him do that, like it just kind of like it just looks like you know what? I'd rather not see him do that. Like he, you see him as like such a hard like it's like seeing General Kale flirting with women. I'm sure right. he probably is going on ravaging yeah, women left yeah. and right. But I don't. But he's, see yeah, him. he's not hitting on them. No, he's just like <laughs> taking what taking he wants. Him. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. And that that beard doesn't lie, you know. And he's he, just, he you know, keeps that helmet off. Oh yeah, he's got to be he rocking the helmet. Up. Yeah, he said, "You know it looks good." Yeah, he's like Patrick Bateman. Hey, look at the camera. <laughs> Don't look me in the face. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I remember Tyler did that once. Oh yeah, I was, I was mimicking Patrick Bateman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I think played, Nathan was playing the studio, and I, yeah, I played the studio, and then all of a sudden he's just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Yeah. Don't just stare at it. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched? Have you watched American Psycho lately? Uh, I, oh, or Ren, or, or just anybody? Anybody. 
Oh, I, I showed it to you. Erica a few Halloweens back. She loved it. But it, that's it probably is the last a, time it, I've watched it, though. I think that it is a tough sell of a movie to get because it is very odd and strange. And well, that's why I thought she was not going to like it. And she 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 was quoting. She was saying, I, "I got to return some videotapes." Like she I'm kind of surprised because I, I feel the vast majority of people, if they watched it, yeah, only, they they were like, oh, "I remember my dad rented it, had no idea what it was, and I as before I saw, he goes, "Yeah, it was nothing but a porno." <laughs> I mean, it's not, but... I, well, I know, I, but he, I, I also make fun of the fact that my dad rented Showgirls, and I looked at him like, you know what that is? He had no idea what it was. Aww. He just like, it's a pretty girl in a box. That was all he was sold on, was a pretty yeah. girl in a box. And that it says cool. here, director of RoboCop on the back. <laughs> I, I, I've seen RoboCop, be good. yeah. That chick is that, that show Saved by the Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know Jack the Strano, right? That's yeah, gotta be wholesome. That. That's good. It's her from Saved by the Bell. Yeah. yeah, she's she's always wholesome. She was always a good girl. <laughs> yeah. She was the good one. <laughs> but ass naked. Until uh, until fucking his, the guy from Twin Peaks. Yeah, until <laughs> Kyle McLaughlin walks in, you see his and ass. Shows his ass. Like, ah, ah, ah. Oh, man. <laughs> I tell you, when people came here for like the most wholesome Willow discussion, we've, we've talked about yeah. shaving body hair. Kyle McLaughlin's ass. I mean, you know. do you expect anything uh, less I, I at just, this point? I, I'm just certain yeah. if someone like is on a Willow fix, like I want to search YouTube and see people oh, talk yeah. about Willow. Here's one. These guys, they, like he went talking about <laughs> like, Oh, whoa, it's over two hours long. It must be really in depth. Yeah, they must be like interviewing people who worked on the movie and shit. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? Nope. <laughs> no, they, they just uh, tune in. Oh, uh, you know, okay. let me, let Willow me and through it. And then yeah, Will <laughs> They're like, what? What is going on? It's two hours of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, I'm glad you didn't put I that in there. You gotta switch those or like those pictures of Joe. <laughs> Warwick's horrible. Oh, oh, yeah, put a shot of uh, Joe jerking off with with, uh, with Warwick and being offended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Deuce sure Deuce, Deuce put, can make that happen. Yeah, put put the yeah. stiff with the Warwick Davis doing that. They just have the, just have Joe side the one moving and then send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and this show is pure class. Hey, well, I, well I'm glad, glad you think so. <laughs> hey, well, we well, try. I, I, yeah, well, we're under the radar, which is probably good because if we no, had sponsors, the they probably wouldn't be happy about it's it. It's for the know? best. They'll be like, we would have yeah. been canceled a long time ago if we were. Buying. Yeah. And hey, hey, to know that you know, hey, uh, we are going to be at PowerCon. Like, we're we're an offensive hey. podcast. It's going to you can tell us how how much we offend you. You know. Oh, <laughs> You know, I mean, and, you can, and you can see how much they're gonna care. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, people, got, I can't. Yeah. Actually, we that would get, be kind you know of what? funny. No one, we may not get anybody come up to our booth and say anything to us. You that, know, that's true. But hey, know, it, it may be like watching Virgil get autographs. It'll be the most ex uh, uh, embarrassing moment of my life. <laughs> Driving over five hours to go sit and have nobody just look at you. You know, we just like, wow. I mean, you just come up to us and be like, man, your show sucks, man. I hate what you said about Origins. You know, you're wrong about Revelations, man. The movie's the, it's the best thing that's ever been happening. Just bring an Origins figure and just throw it at Tyler. Yeah, I hope Rob David shows up and tells me how much he hates me. I'll, I'll set an Origins figure on your on your table every time I pass. Yeah, and, and I'll smack it off, you know. <laughs> uh, God. Yeah, well, hopefully it won't be embarrassing. Be no, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's gonna. I I, it's well, wherever happen. Rand's at, we'll just be yelling to him the whole time when he's down there. Yeah, your arc sucks. <laughs> well, hey, you guys, I got, I got twenty five bucks coming to you here in a little bit. If you guys are in the special people section, you'll be up front. We'll all be I'll be helmets. in the back with the uh, <laughs> with the short bus people, <laughs> and uh, you know <laughs> you won't even see me. It, it's, Anyway, the lights are out <laughs> uh, in the back, and it'll take you about five minutes to get back oh, there to see me. Boy, oh, is yeah. that where you're at? Yeah, yeah man, I'm in the, I'm in the nosebleeds, buddy. Well, <laughs> well that's that's where I was last year, but I had gotten my table late, so it, it won't it won't well, matter. But well, who's Ren, to say need, that we, we Ren, wouldn't Ren, reach out and go get your we, table? Yeah, yeah, get your table. Devon, get the tables. <laughs> I hate the Dudley boys. Uh, I liked him all right. Oh, sick what, of what I fucking hated was Drew Carey promoting the shit out of his pay per view thing when he showed up at the Rumble. It's like, ah, I'm gonna have this laugh a lot thing. <laughs> fucking dumb. 
Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck Price is right. Yeah. He sucks. He ain't got nothing yeah. on Bob Barker, dumbass. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> is there anything with Willow that you, uh, Tyler, that you want to toss out there? Something else you want to talk about? I, I don't I want to I, I don't want to where we could go uh, into depth. Sure I don't want to end it and just be like well, we didn't talk about that we yeah. should talk more well I mean I can't I got to be careful because I can't step too late because uh I, I every time we get, all of us get to talking it, I, it kicks my ass the next day so I told myself I was not going to do it step too late and here I am breaking my own promise yeah, you're doing it you're already I'm doing, doing it. it and tomorrow I'll be like oh god <laughs> Matt Marty gets hair man let's talk about it what's wrong with it it's, it's amazing. It's, Oh, it's awesome. Okay. Yeah. It's See, anytime, for long anytime you say anything like that, Ren, I just assume that it's going to be negative. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Stop, stop making me the bad guy all the time. Okay? But that's what I you. That's how you present head. yourself. You, you always well, want to come in stirring up shit. You're stop, you're constantly I'm, kicking puppies and roughing up the bartender. Like new year, new fun. me. Goddamn it. That's why I brought. That's why you're supposed to be here the whole time last week. I wanted you to fuck it up. Last, yeah, last week I would have fucked it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah beautiful, beautiful head of hair. I actually thought that Warwick Davis. I, I was like that. That's his hair. He just grew it out a little bit. Yeah. No, that's a wig. I was like, huh? How about that? I guess but if you look, look it enough, it looks, it's like, all right, yeah, sure. But yeah, but stuff like that, like unless it's like you know, like there's one shot during the the, the snow slits that you can clearly tell it's a dummy. Mm-hmm. You know, sitting on there and like the head's just kind of like you know stuff like that. But I, I just never go looking for flaws in the film like i've watched like blood sport so many times i i've found so many flaws in that just because i've watched it so many times you know like a guy that van damme beat in the ring is sitting up in the in the uh, in the bleach is going yeah like oh, really? fucked up yeah you know <laughs> i'm like but that's just <laughs> editing issues you know but just stuff like that you know you don't intentionally yeah, look for things. stuff you know but with willow um it's it's a, a damn near perfect film i i it's got everything <laughs> that you could want i don't feel like it's a film that only certain kinds of people could like i don't feel like it's just a, a guy's film or uh, a girl's film or anything like that i feel like it has it has got everything the villains are villains back when they made villains they were evil sons of bitches they they are not you know uh sympathetic you don't they don't have tragic past and all this great bullshit yeah you know they're not pussies and it, it had Amazing female, strong characters in it, but all it over the place. You over the head with it, but no. Newt. Uh, in fact, those, the, the ending, the, those the ending scene no, uh, is Newt. Come on, the, the, those all never, three females those like, never existed. With Willow. They never existed. Strong <laughs> female that's true. characters. That's true. It's only a new thing. It's only yeah, a new thing. That, that's only like seven years old. <laughs> yeah, we, we we have to thank uh, what's her name, the girl who played fucking Wonder Woman just recently. We have to thank her <laughs> for, for the first yeah first uh, yeah. strong female. In the uh, movie. What's her name? Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, so, so fucking gr- groundbreaking. Like that that what a piece geez. of shit movie that was, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't like those movies. I, 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 I only Erica watched the first that. one. We got up and walked like, out of that piece of shit. <laughs> it was great because I didn't want to say it. She did. It's like, this movie sucks. I'm like, oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, that movie sucked. <laughs> um. <laughs> But uh, I, I think this movie is, uh, I, I hold this movie near and dear to my heart. I love sword and sorcery. They don't make enough sword and sorcery films. They need to bring it back. Kind of, well, I, hell, I'd hope with Lord of the Rings being such a, a juggernaut that it was, that it would be this onslaught of more fantasy films. Like, nope. And it didn't happen. That didn't was, happen. Which was kind of strange. Well, they did do some, but they were like the Aragorn movie and, oh, and oh, Rain of Fire. Yeah. the Narnia movies and stuff. And oh, just, okay. Like, yeah. So yeah, that goes, but they were all well. trying to be Lord of the Rings. And then like, there was like, I forget which one it was, but there were a bunch of them, but they were all but, trying to be Lord of the Rings. They all needed that. Like that trilogy ending, series. That trilogy, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, well, you know, just, like the Hobbit did not need to be a trilogy. No. It was a single book. It was a very simple, uh, black and white storytelling, you know, simple, but they just really stretched it, spread out. it out, stretched out and added things like, this yeah, that, that's always a warning sign for elf. anything, you know, I and I, you, you, you think about a movie like this, it's all, it's told in like two hours, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's, it's like, how you, it's that Ghostbusters, Predator, Jaws, they're not three hours, three and a half hours. They don't require, like, you got to come back next year and see the second half. 
you know. Oh, like the Marvel all, movies where it's like. Yeah, yeah like fuck. If you. you didn't see this one, you're not gonna know what's going on in this one. Yeah, and you know it's bullshit. Yeah. You did. You can. You can see one. You've seen them all. And it just. You, I mean, look at this poster art here. Look, there, there's, there's Ren's arch enemy right here. It's Billy yeah. Barty on the poster. If you can't see him, yeah. Wildor. And we got Bad Morty. You got the, uh, the, uh, the, the brownies. And look, can, do you know what Kale should have had like a character poster of his own? Yeah. You know. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, the just. I mean, the posters that look like this anymore. Yeah. You get yeah. in the movie theater. The yeah. movie posters are some of the shittiest pieces of. Well, I'm gonna call them art. They all look it, the it's, same. It's, yeah, it's just and they're cheap. They're it's just Photoshop shit. shit. Yeah. There's no paintings anymore. This Bring poster right here, you, it's, it, like, it tells you so much. You've got evil, good. You got fan. I mean, just so much on the on this poster here. Oh my god. And it's the toys. Love. Look at him. Look at him in love. Oh man, <laughs> I, I, I give anything to be a part of something like that. You know, just just mm. uh, you know, epic. Epic doesn't exist anymore in, in our in our world of entertainment. It doesn't. Mm. Uh, maybe to some people it does, but not short attention spans, man. Yeah, yeah it, exactly. Because you move on to the next thing. Nothing yeah. leaves an impression anymore. Yeah, yeah nothing's lasting. One. Yeah, everything's yeah. throwaway. It is. And that's yeah. why all these Marvel movies may make a shit ton of money, but no one is going to be celebrating fucking you know. Infinity War, 20 years from now, you know, with, with all these throwback t-shirts and, oh, I'm where I was at. No, you'll move on to the next fucking thing. You'll forget all yeah. about Thanos and the snapping the fingers and all this other silly shit. You know, you're They're not They're already beginning. Yeah. They're already beginning. You're going to yeah. move on to Kang. You know what? After Kang comes out, like, oh, man, the last cool new villain. You'll forget all about him. Move yeah. on to Doctor Doom. And when he comes out, you'll forget all about him. Yeah. You know? But this General is... Kale and Bav Morda, you'll never forget about them. This was a comment from Sobek earlier on the show. I went ahead and saved it. I don't remember Willow Toys what? at all. So it came out from Tonka. Yep. And I had... Uh, I'll go ahead and I do have a up. bunch of them on Men on Card. I bought for 15 bucks in a lot at Hills of Flea Market. That's so cool. Many I never had ago. any... There they are. Look at those. Look at oh, those wow. in all their glory, people. And the, I mean, they are small. Look at that dragon. Yeah. I, yeah. mm, that, that, yeah. The dragon is the holy grail. You will have the hardest time trying to find that just loose, let alone in box. No, uh, they're on eBay in box if you want to spend six hundred dollars. That's what I'm saying. Jeez. Like, yeah, it's hard yeah. to find. And and they're they're ones that came on horses and the ones that came on little stands. I had both General Kales. I had Mad Margaret on a horse. Yeah. And I didn't have Willow. I really wanted Willow as a kid, but I never I have saw Willow. Him. I have Willow and Mad Mardigan somewhere. Man, that's something that NECA really needs to, like... Oh, my God. Well, Super, yeah. Seven, yeah. Just, Super Seven's doing yeah. the reaction stuff. They yeah, might. and they're but, shitty. Like, no, like, high-end, very lifelike figures is what I want. Yeah. So, like, I, NECA would be the choice to make them. I would love to see Ren do some awesome artwork with the cast. I, like, I, like plan, a nice I, I plan on doing that this week, but I just didn't have time. I, I really did. When I watched it again I guess that means week, I got to give him some money. I really money. fell in love again. I, I I actually plan on doing it, man. Uh, what, and what, I, I think I said something last week. What uh, what uh, what kind of ideas do you have floating in your head? Truthfully, man, head? I I, I want to do a movie poster style um, with with you know Willow as the main uh, outline. I I, I kind of love the the image with the images in inside of the image. Mm -hmm. So oh, it'll yeah. be a white background, kind of like that movie poster, but. With with Willow, his head and, and and the wand, and then then the rest of the characters smaller within his body shape, which was which would represent you know everything is encompassed within this this little person. So the uh, magic lies within, and, and that's that's, that's what that's what I see as far as the, you know that film is concerned. It's it's, it's an amazing and I, I like I said I love watching his, his, his little wife. She's the cutest thing on there. Yeah, like she's she, for me. She she's one of the best things about it. Like you you see their connection. And you're like, oh man! Like, don't leave her, man. It does with the heartstrings. It really it, does. It does. He has it like does. this perfect family that yeah. he's has to leave, and it's like he I, has I this tear up every time he comes he home. To, yeah. Gosh, and every time it, he leaves, it's so it, yeah, freaking it's sad. sad. And I, then uh, so like heart touch heart. It's even worse when they're on their way back, and then the freaking bird flies by. He's like, I I can't go home now. Yeah. Like yeah. I, me, gosh, you go tell everybody I'm doing all right, but I can't, I can't go back. Yeah, I'm not gonna let anything happen to the baby. Like I, I, 
it, that, that's a big moment when you're a kid watching that because you think Willow gets to go home and like his journey is not over. Like yeah. you're like, damn it! But like, all right, we're we're, we're with you to the end here, bud. <laughs> I mean, it's, and it's it, powerful it, for such a small person. And and it's he's such a memorable character, like from the clothing to his yeah. demeanor, you know. <laughs> And I love, I, I, I'm so proud I got to say this with Warwick when I talked to him. Like, she's a Lord Dan of the future, future Empress of Tyrus. And the last thing she's going to is a hairy chest. <laughs> you know? He took my black I made that reference to my nephew. I said, put hair on your chest. And he looked down at his shirt to see if he had hair on his chest. You know? <laughs> <laughs> black You know, I, I just, I, yeah, the, the, that, that intensity he has in the role. Yeah. And I, I, I do wish they had fit the, the fish boy sequence that was cut when he's going oh, to yeah. uh, to go get Finn Rizal, I because I, that's in the comic book. And I, I wish they had completed that and put that in the movie. Because even though the fish boy idea is weird, I think the idea of Willow being attacked by a giant man-eating fish trying to get uh, Finn Rizal is something I wish that had been left in the film, though. There's a peril just yeah. for Willow. There's no one to help him. No man marking. He's got no weapon, and this giant manning fish is trying to kill him. Like I wish yeah, that was left. Yeah, yeah. I know the, you know the mechanics were messing up on the fish, and it looked yeah. a little janky. That's why they yeah. kind of, they cut it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. It, but it, it looked cool, and I'm sure if it was edited properly, it would have. Yeah, if it was lot. hidden a little bit better, they yeah. jawed it. I mean, Rim probably would have came in and shit on it. Probably, I mean, that's a given. But <laughs> they, like, man, these white people on this man eating fish, <laughs> silly shit. They, 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 fish. Warwick Davis said somewhere that he was really disappointed because he spent like days oh, getting yeah. wet and, like because he's like being sprayed with water that whole time and he's like it was hell the film and then I found out they cut it it sucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I know that a lot of people now, especially I, I feel a younger generation, if they went back and watched it, they as Tyler said, Ren might do shit on some of the special effects. But you got to think 1988 for what they did and what they I had and how they effects. presented it. It's, I, I, it's I really well done. I, Phil that Tempest morphing scene with the dragon. Oh yeah, they, that that was the earliest ILM stuff too. Like it was mm-hmm. of the morphing sequence. Yeah, but it looks cool, and I, I love stop motion. And even as a kid, watching you know Harryhausen, man, Harryhausen's old classic stuff. Phil, what Phil Tippett did on Robocop and with this, um, they really do add. They bring this. They give characters, uh, character the to the the, the fuck character <laughs> to those creatures they they there perform they're performing and, and acting you know by the way they're act you know moving their heads and right you know it's it's bringing them to life in a way that you know computers you know outside of jurassic park i'm just like it's very sterile and it's kind of flat and it's just it's a fucking tennis ball that alan grant's looking at really like that's yeah. it you know stupid here's those reaction figures you got any thoughts on those no, I don't like them. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish they did high end ones like Nekasilo. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I mean, they're not horrible, but I'm just sick of the cheap shit. And I know what they're doing, like throwback early '80s figures with five points of articulation. They really can't pose or do anything with because it's old and it's throwback. But really, it's just cheap. Um, yeah. but you know what? Not I think well, I think Willow. It's a good idea. Good. It's fine. I mean, Will, I Will, 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 Willow looks like the more care has been put into his sculpt than everybody else. Everybody else looks like it was just cheap, but this this little guy right here, I mean, it, it does make me want to go and buy some of the loose ones, you know, and just put them on display. Yeah, for fun, you know. Damn and it! Get, here get I me go a loose again. Willow. Well, yeah, get me a loose Willow. And you got to get the ones with the horses too, because the horses uh, came on a stand. No. Yeah. And I used to use those horses with my GI Joes because it was almost like the perfect size. You know, for a GI Joe to ride on a horse, but um, you know, Sorsha came on a horse, Mad Martin came on a horse, Eric came on a horse, Kale came on a horse. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember if any like the Notmar soldiers or troopers came on a horse or not, but uh, I don't. Know. I, oh, I will say when I was in Pittsburgh over Thanksgiving that uh, that four story comic book store I told you about, they had the gift set pack of Willow. They had like a couple of gift set packs. Mm-hmm. They came with like four or five figures in a pack. And they had one of, uh, on display to buy in the store. I didn't dare ask because they asked a lot for a lot of their like really be good three hundred dollars. Fuck you! Yeah. All right, and I got two middle fingers to give you. <laughs> you know? uh, the, but the but yeah, the, the, uh, it's, it was a fun little novelty to see the gift sets. I remember seeing these in the Dollar Tree when I was a kid. Same the Willow figures. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's probably where I got mine. Maybe. Yeah, not yeah. all of them, but. Uh, but, and then, and there were also uh, Wendy's uh, Happy Meal cups that had illustrations yeah. from the movie. 
I do there. remember well, those. Yeah, you remember those? Yeah. I do remember those. There wasn't I, a whole I think we may have had a couple of those. My yeah, brother. I know I had at least one, but I, I have it, it, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, it didn't last right. long. They're even yeah. hard to find on eBay, those cups. Yeah. Or even like doing a quick Google search. It's, it's kind of hard to find any of them, to be honest. Right. I'm sure what fucking Grimbot will look, look up. There, oh, there you are. Look, well, shit. There they are. That's so cool. I know. Such yeah, a fun they came with the Happy time. Meals and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, re you remember those tie-ins, weren't they? Cool. Yeah. 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 Don't do that shit really anymore. Yeah. Nope. Uh, I, used to, I used to try to collect a bunch of those, man, when I was younger. Oh, they were fun. It was exciting yeah. to go to McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's. Oh, they got this one. Oh, oh, I hope I get this one. Oh, man. See, I've got oh, this fuck. set when Batman came out, and they, um, I, I think it was McDonald's. They had the French fry boxes, and they yeah. had the, each character on there. I think I still have that whole set somewhere. The, those two years of McDonald's time. Oh, man. Oh, oh that's look cool. at that. Oh man, I, I I would so love to have those cups to go with go my get them, man. cups. Yeah, are get are them. those on eBay or did you just do know, a fine. Google search? Yeah, that was a Google search. I'll look it up. Hello, Wendy's cups. Hey, if you guys got any questions in the chat, go ahead and toss yeah. them. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick here before yeah. we wrap this thing up. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get the questions, and Tyler's gonna have a shit day tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Philippe tossed this out. Nuna's right. NECA would nail this line, but I guess yeah. where it's a Disney thing now, uh, that would automatically um, defer to Hasbro, right? So that that was not still, necessarily I, really. Uh, NECA and what's the other company? They they've been they've been subletting some of these properties and doing uh, alternate uh, figures because I know Silverhawks did the same thing. Silverhawks has a, a two lines going right now from two different companies. Oh yeah, it's um, a Super Seven and then the what ramen toys it, or something. Yeah, and I think the ramen toys looks way better. It does, but it's also way more expensive. Yeah, well, it, it's, it's yeah. Damn, you're talking like ninety dollars for Quicksilver and then yeah. Uh, but the the Super Seven ones, Monstar's one hundred and twenty. I don't think they've sent anybody theirs yet. No, like yeah, they're, no, they're, in, well, they're in series three and they haven't they haven't produced any yet. Yep, they're yeah. I've already uh, Tyler and I both have pre-ordered pretty much all, yeah, if not all the waves of Silverhawks that have been announced. But yeah, we still haven't even gotten the the first. Yeah, wave I thought in about it. I was yet. like, I was like, they're they're what like almost two years old. The first first series? wave, yeah, something like yeah, that. We're, yeah. we're not far from it, but and they haven't put seven they haven't best. Sent anybody yet, so. No, but they, they always stuff. make sure the turtle stuff gets comes out on time, but Silverhawks, Thundercats, nothing ever comes out on time. Hey, I'll tell you that, those turtle ones are fucking awesome. Well, they are, uh, but yeah. I just wish they were more those consistent. Yeah, let me, yeah. let me do this. There's one listing for the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and share this, but check this out, though. It's just like a sticker on the cup, so that kind of sucks. Oh. What? It's just a sticker. Oh, it wasn't um, like it was. Like, oh, so it's not print, the original print. one. Well, or, or or did the cups not come like 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 that? Like like the He Man cups where the, it was printed on there. It's not. A I sticker. don't know. I don't know. Are they saying that that's the original one? I. Uh, I mean, it's I not guess. a bad price for the cup. Yeah, but not if it's. I, not but original. if it, if it's if it's someone who did like a they they found a way to. It almost looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so there's because basically... most of the cups, like all the cups that came out with Happy Meals back then, were all printed on the cups, like the Batman yeah. Returns. You can cups. get the window cling for five hundred dollars. What? Whoa! Uh, click on the window cling real quick. All I right, just want to see me... what it looks like. Yep. Me... Guess what? Brent, I, I really want to see like some Willow work done by you, dude. I, I was just thinking, of, oh god, look how cool that is. Oh, Wendy's wow. kids meals. Oh, I used to get a hamburger all the time and get those kids meals. I think it's funny that uh, featuring scenes from the new George Lucas movie. I, it's like, all right, yeah, Ron it, Howard yeah, it's all about clearly Lucas, wasn't yeah. enough yeah, of fuck the name. Opie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it was this, it's the same thing what they did with the Nightmare Before Christmas. They're like, yeah, Tim yeah Burns, it's all about Tim Burton. Tim Burton yeah, didn't oh, do that it. wasn't him. He designed yeah. some of the characters. That was it. <laughs> I so want to see Ren like do uh, an illustration I could put on a shirt of all the evil from Willow with General Kale's face looking oh. down at the side. With Bab Morta, you know, like Cragley, is that the extension of your powers, little one? I want to see the devil dog. I want to see the troll. I want to see one of the not Mar uh, soldiers on there. Oh, man. I'm talking about glory. Dude, I want to see Bab Morta's castle. 
you know, uh, not knock Mark Castle. Like it, it part worked in there as well. I want to see a bunch uh, of pigs I, at the bottom. Pigs at the bottom. I want to see Sorcerer with her saw blade sword looking all bitchy and shit. No, uh, that, that, oh, pig oh. Scene, that pig scene scared me too. Oh, me, me. Like the ones crazy? on the ground, oh, the ones on the not. ground, and like ha, the, the pig legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah the pig legs. It freaks me out. Oh god, freak me out. Disturb me. Pus coming out of his oh, mouth. Man. Yeah, and his nose. And then she even turned dope, but... You didn't see her turn, but she even turned her into a pig. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. that's good. Good uh, makeup effects. Oh that shit God. looked painful, man. It looks awesome. It did. Like she's when Sorcerer's like holding on to her too. stomach, like, oh my God, what is that? Yeah. What was that feel like? <laughs> it's so and, demeaning oh, I, too. That, yeah, and I love, I love big. Pat Roach's laugh. You know when he know. laughs anytime in because he laughs at Red Song and he laughs at all kinds of, but his laugh when Willis says, oh, "Give us the baby or we'll destroy you," and he belts out that big massive laugh on top of the <laughs> castle. It just says kill him. And like, oh my! I wish I could laugh like that. You know, when Rin pisses me <laughs> off, I could just laugh like Pat Roach. You know, <laughs> like whatever. You can practice it like you do those those uh, bad impressions. Oh, that, that, those wonderful Marlon Brando impressions. See, Rin, 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 Rin. <laughs> oh, Buffy, Joey. I start. I started the beast. I'm just. I'm just saying here. Welcome to find the power. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we can get hey, Rebecca next to time, do that. Next time you do the the intro, Tyler, just do it as uh, Marlon Brandon. Uh, good evening. Welcome to Fun the Farm. It was my million dollar check to do this, this, this stupid little intro for this first podcast about He Man and Mass. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rand's Hey, Rand, Rand. Hey, did you ever see him in the pocket? How about the freshman? Did you ever see him in the freshman? My three brought out, get over fast, Billy. Whatever, white people. <laughs> <laughs> That was perfect. That was, which I feel like that's probably going in Ren's head, damn near eight, ninety percent of the time. Every time he's on about. the show, hey, yeah. Sure. And yeah, I said him an idea for an illustration. Whatever, white boy. <laughs> Here is a question from. I so wish you were wearing a T-shirt at Power College that says "Whatever, white people." <laughs> oh, that just get me kicked out of the place. <laughs> only, only the three of you guys would know what the hell is going on. Oh man, and the people, like, what the hell is going on? The people here would know. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm X is a power con. Yeah. Hey, you can't you can't wear that shirt like son of a bitch. Here, here's a question from Sobek, and this goes out to Tyler and Wren. If Tyler and Wren made a graphic novel sequel to Willow, what would your pitch be? Also, go see Puss in Boots Last Witch. It was surprisingly what? amazing. Uh, I had a friend at work tell me that how much he loved Puss in Boots, but I don't care for the Shrek stuff. But me neither. I hate uh, Shrek. I do too. I, my, Shrek, Mars, the only thing that is an Irish accent. Shrek ruined 2D movies. <laughs> Shrek destroyed 2D movies. Uh, a pitch for Willow? Yeah, a, uh, a graphic a, novel a, sequel. To a Willow. sequel. It, it would... For me, I think it, it would have a lot to do with um, the, the growing up of the young princess and figuring out what she's doing. Uh, I, I I understand this new one barely mentions her. Um, so I won't get into it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I don't like, want to talk like, about it. Like like is, she was is, she was she the main purpose. Like in it? She's no, the main she's purpose of this movie. Oh, so she's no. in it. She's in it, but she's just a dummy. Oh, okay. Oh, and you see this little, this baby who has like wise beyond her ears. Oh, wise beyond her ears. <laughs> beyond her <laughs> ears. Wise beyond her ears. <laughs> wise beyond her years and like so like expressive. This little baby. And then you see her as a young woman and she's just an idiot. And you're like, uh, okay, that makes no sense. Why was she smarter sad. when she was a baby? That's sad. Her mark's yeah. in the wrong spot too. In the. When she's a baby, it's up here, and in the show, it's down here. So really, it can't even yeah, remember. attention to detail from uh, from that cast and asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they um, they but... they really could make like uh, give us you know some extra evil villain that comes up, and you know um, maybe maybe uh, follows in the footsteps of the old queen, or or. or has been possessed by the spirit that that left her to begin with. She found a way to come back. You never know. I, I, I mean, as, as big as that world is, I mean, I, I'm sure, like, just like in He-Man and various other properties, 
Bad Vort is not the only evil queen or right. e biggest evil presence, evil army. So I'd like to think that, um, you know, someone else hears about her falling. Well, now it's my time. My, it's my turn to usurp and take over. I'll take care of this princess. I'll finish what she couldn't do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Willow goes back, maybe kind of, you know, learns more from the high old one, reminisces about the days, kind of misses, misses action a little bit, you know, going back to farming and, you know, being a, being a wizard is not a big deal because he is in a small wizard, uh, small farming community. I, I don't. I just feel like you, there's so much you can kind of play with, with with that, but keep a lot of the same elements of bringing Mad Martin and Willow back together for more adventures. Yeah, I have like this new evil presence, like be friends, uh, uh, Laura Dan, and when she's young, like tries to impress her and kind of coaxes her into like, here, follow me. You know, you don't, you know, I, I, I'll, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, I just feel like you could have like a, an evil influence on a young a Lord Dannon and she becomes confused and Willow comes to her aid to help, you know, remind her, no, 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 they're leading you down a wrong path here. And, um, so then you've got the wizard, uh, Willow, who's a little bit more advanced, taking on this new evil wizard, who's obviously got a real badass henchman for Mad Marty to kick his ass, you know, <laughs> or something like that. You know, we got to have Mad Morgan kicking somebody's ass that looks as, you know, has to be as imposing as General Kelp. I don't know. I think something we help. You put me and Ren together. I know we could deliver gold to you guys. I don't, you know, we could do, we could do Silver Hawks. We could do Willow. We could do Brave Star. We could do Black Star. And I will say this thanks to Deucin and Ren will appreciate this. I finally sat down to watch Goldtar and the Golden Lance and Thunder the Barbarian for the first time this weekend. Goldtar is amazing, right? It's and good. both fucking shows. Yeah. are unfucking believable. I, I I'm like, oh my god, both these shows, and I was yeah. just, I just whipped it out and started beating it right there. God damn! Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 and I, but I, those shows never came on when me and Nathan were kids. Like they're the super underrated, yeah. And, and they were just there. You go. I was like that the whole time, <laughs> and no lotion. It was all raw. Yeah, yeah, and um, and uh, it was unbelievable. But I, I you know, uh, it's better late than never. And um, do some have you guys seen? Have you guys seen Jason the Wheeled Warriors? It. I've just seen the intro. I've never watched an episode. I haven't watched it either. Yeah, the intro is badass. It, but it's, I've never it's watched another. An it's another amazing late. It's late eighties, I think. Uh, cartoon yeah, I think it was that, 86, that just 87, that just, I think. That yeah. just didn't take off. Um, unfortunately, man. Yeah, Grim. Thank you, buddy. I even uh, so when Tyler brought it up, I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll buy, I'll buy that. Oh, I I, 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 I told Nathan like just like because I, I, I like planting the seed with Nathan because a lot of times if I share something, I'm like, I think I can get him to try this, and sure yeah, enough, yeah. I, I well, sent him that Pirates of the Dark Water, which is also it's, really good. It's a badass show. show. That's a yeah. badass. Show. I I I, I yeah. saw that as a kid, and I owned it, and I went back to revisit just for fun. Yeah. And I'm like Nathan, you got to check this show out, man. You I've know. got some of those characters uh, as figures, and I'll tell you what the uh, the main character in that movie has the dopest name for any cartoon franchise. I wonder ever. why you say that. Oh yeah, huh? What are you talking, yeah. Ren? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's his fucking name. It's Ren. <laughs> God damn it, I love that. Show. But you know, <laughs> your Ren, that Ren looks like this guy. Ah, see, they, they, they had to do that. They had to do that. No. It, it was the time, well, man. I mean, what you, I know. Yeah. He's, I'm just saying he's got blonde hair and tan. That's about oh as far as it goes. Oh, my God. They, I just try, said, they tried to make him look like me, but, you know, they, they you know, it was the 80s. And, yeah, it was like if you combine me and Ren together, you would have that Ren. You'd have Ren, yeah. 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 Yeah, there you there you go. We are we are we are pirates of the dark of dark water. I always always want to call it pirates of the dark water. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, pirates yeah. of dark water. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember yeah, when that, when that show was announced as a kid. I remember like actually waiting to see the first episode, and I got the Ren figure from KB Toys. Yeah, so. those figures are actually kind of great. Like, the, yeah, they're the pretty cool. Figures. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I had the ship, but it was for Mortal Kombat. They just repurposed the the uh, really the Ren, Ren ship with the Mortal Kombat toy line. Huh. So instead of um, uh, would that be a raid, cheaper way to get it now? <laughs> well, that ship is hard to find too for Mortal Kombat. Like, yeah. it, and it's a very small ship. It was not yeah. proportioned yeah. size yeah. wise. Yeah. But I had it as a kid. Like, this is the Pirates of Dark Water ship. I'm like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> it's it, it, it Shang Tsung ship. Know that. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, Harrison a, made it. Did you guys a, watch uh, Peter Pan and the Pirates? That was early. I did. I used to watch that. Yeah. Uh, but I was mad because Captain Hook didn't have a mustache. 
Was, this is bullshit. Yeah, he had like the powdered wig instead. That was yeah, cool. which looking back at it, he was cool looking, but he's got to have a mustache. But it's Tim Curry, so it's like, that was I know, but he didn't have a mustache. I yeah. don't remember that at all. I don't yeah. remember either. The toys, uh, suck, the toys were just like little probably. baby dolls. And I'm like, why yeah. didn't they just have action figures for this? Uh, I guess it they, depends on the company and what uh, what they want to do. The demographic, they yeah. might have been pushing it to, to smaller kids. Yeah, to babies. Here's a... <laughs> Here's a question from Papa Huds. What will your selfies and autograph prices be? Free. We're not fifty dollars for an autograph. No, seventy seventy five for full group autograph. A hundred dollars <laughs> if you want the picture and the autograph. No, it's, it's guys. I'm telling you, like I couldn't think of like a more meaningless autograph than having my my niece signature put on anything. It's free. Yeah, it's all free. That's true. I, yeah, I, th yeah. There's no sense in us actually charging for that. We just hope no. that people come out to want to. Yeah, don't embarrass us. And, like nobody us. shows up. We have nothing but like you know crickets. Only yeah. at all. <laughs> well, well, you guys absolutely should sell prints of the uh, the banner. No, yeah, we're going to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. the plan. Okay. What I do is uh, autographs are free with me, but you do buy prints. Yeah, yeah. So you, for me, you buy the autograph and you get the print for free. Or maybe I should do that. You know, we should I'll, do. I'll we can have. We, we ought to have like, uh, like a new upgraded per, uh, version of of the banner. You know, for 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 pictures or something like that. In like, what uh, way? I'm, I hell on. We could get like Ren to do his own version of us. You know. Good. You know. No worries. That that no worries. that that it. would be fun. Yeah. Let's do it. And then Ren could sell them at his booth too. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, I could just send everybody to your table. You send them to my table and, and have. Yeah, we're just Somebody's doing the revolving door of business. Yeah. 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 Like, go yeah. to that table and get the rest of the signatures, and you do the same thing. I'll probably yeah. uh, have a print of this at the table. Yeah. Oh, shit. I plan, I plan on making uh, at least one exclusive Guns of Power t shirt for just for PowerCon, but it's going to be a surprise. Oh. I'll tell you guys after the show. But... Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Exclusive. Uh, here's a question yes. for Newt. This comes from Havoc Staff. What's your current favorite action figure? Like current as in what I own or what just came out? Because I don't have a lot of new action figures. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's not a lot of good shit on the shelves anymore. Like recently, like yeah, action exactly. figures that were released I got, was I, the I got this. gorgeous Scarlet oh, Witch. Oh, that's cool. Legend. Yeah, cheers to that. Yeah, some nice. Better, some cool. better Ray Bill. The world right? needs more better Ray Bill. Just not in a uh, no, no, no. Movie. My favorite current figure that I just recently bought and that is new is my Mondo He Man. Yeah, my, mine's still in the box in the closet. <laughs> How <laughs> shitty is that? <laughs> I need to. I got all yeah. my Mondos now. They're starting to fill up. Is there a way to point the camera at that at all? Yeah. I'll try. They're right over there. They have the Queen oh, of the Dead with them. Those are massive. Now, you know? And then the doll, Shira. Oh my goodness. I can't point. Yeah. It, uh, the Shira I, doll. I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Pretty cool. I gotta point this thing. Here's a comment from JSP. I've heard so many things about Pirates of Dark Water, but I haven't watched it because I am to understand that the story is incomplete. Yeah, well, Gold is not, not, not roughly. complete either, but you know what? It's, I, I would rather quality be left on a high note, leave you wanting more, than a shitty finale. Yeah, that's true. You know, It's so, still worth watching, though, so even though it's not complete, it doesn't wrap up. Like Yeah, the animation Jared is absolutely exactly beautiful. Wrap up, you know, so it's like... You can hey, He-Man he -Man didn't have a finale. Yeah, we're all here because of He Man. He Man had no finale, so it doesn't end like on a cliffhanger. Wait, mm. did it? I can't remember. I well, remember. I mean, it just ended, no, like, no. Well, because not all the treasures were found, so mm. there was still more adventures to go on, and you know, and unfortunately, it just kind of got canceled because so many things were coming out. It, it, you know, that's that's one good thing about. As we're getting older, and you go back and give all these other shows that you didn't see, didn't didn't get a chance to watch, or never even heard of, that are all under the radar because you know not everyone could be a juggernaut, and there were so many good things that was put out there that um, we really had we really did have a good uh, in the eighties and nineties. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's nice to know that stuff of that quality, but it was just at a point when so much shit was getting churned out 
that it's still good, but it either didn't last long enough or our, we we couldn't give our attention to everything as much yeah. as as much as we right. walked down toy aisles as a kid. We could not have everything that was on that aisle. We could not watch everything that was on TV at that time. Not to but, mention, we all lived in different places, and, and uh, our areas did not play everything. Yeah, there's a lot of shit I would got. see. I'm like, I have no recollection yeah. of any of it. We never got New Adventures of He-Man on TV in our area. Yeah. Like, it, we, yeah. I don't uh, think we did either in Hampton. There were nobody maybe, in the house. <laughs> nobody got yeah, it. Yeah, no, nobody got it, and... You know, outside of a few plugs on TV, if you didn't see it on the shelf, that was it. Yeah. You know, so with a lot, a lot of good stuff. So that's why it was so important to go down this toy. I was like, oh my god, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah. And kudos to them too for putting out uh, various cartoons and and toy lines to fight with those juggernauts of the Master Universe, yeah. like Ninja Turtles or GI Joe or Thundercats at the time. Just. Hey, let's see if the kids will latch on to this. And unfortunately, yeah. a lot yeah. of a lot of it didn't work out that way. No, Snailians was a, was a really cool toy that never had anything that uh, was at the dollar store. Um, it's speaking of of toys that went against the juggernaut. Snailians was was these little bitty. Listen, oh, I, I've got, I, I, I've got I, the whole I, set. I've never heard of them. They made they made four good guys and four bad guys. They were named after coin presidents. Presidents on on U.S. coins, like Lincoln and, and Washington, uh, and yeah, exactly. Lincoln, um, I want to say Washington. Uh, um, anyway, they they were it was four good guys and four bad guys, and um, the, I think the bad guys were like ticks. And, is this and, uh, is this it? Lunar ticks are invading Snail Francisco. Snails are yes. Up. Against the tick invasion. Let's kick some tick. Let's kick some tick. Yeah. Supersonic shell fighters. It's a turbo flex power all over the place. Supersonic shell fighters. And they had, yeah, that armor came off. And they had little bitty things that hooked onto their, um, to their armor. I've that looks like something rain would dump all over, though. Like I, I I'm... listen, I had I had a few of those when I was a kid. I had like two. Um, I had a good guy and a bad guy, and I want to say about five years ago, I remembered that I had them, and I bought the entire set. Um, and I I, I don't keep anything in a package, so um, I bought them complete, and uh, and I've got them up in my case, but. They're freaking amazing, and they're only like this big. They're they're about four inches tall, maybe. There's maybe, nothing uh, wrong with that. I, I think no. tall, man. Yeah, and they don't no, but, they don't have any articulation, man. They're pretty ado- adorable, man. It's like barnyard commandos. It, they're they're, they're kind of yeah. like that. They're, they're yeah. smaller than barnyard commandos, but yeah, they don't have any articulation. They're just they just stand there, and you're using yeah. all imagination. Barnyard commandos and food fighters were yeah, shit. Army, I'm like, and, I and love army this ants. Stuff. Remember yeah. army ants? And army yeah. ants, yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll make the last few real quick, and we'll go ahead and wrap it up. So, Beck, favorite TMNT era for each of you. Mine is the original first four black and white issues and the Raphael one-shot. I got that for Nathan. I, I, I'm like, I will never, ever be able to purchase that book again. <laughs> I know. I, I'm so You're, glad. You'll like, the movie God. because that's all I know. Well, you know what? What's no, wrong no, with that? The, yeah, the movie's the, the, be, <laughs> the, the best. Just the first movie. I've not seen the sequels or anything. Just the first movie. Well, Secret of the Ooze is fun, but it, it drops in quality. Yeah. <laughs> Big the time. The first movie by itself. Uh, is I, I, I was around when the, when the original black and white books were around, but by the time I heard about the Turtles, that book was <laughs> like $1,000 even back then. I actually uh, got this to... To... Oh, oh, very that's cool. nice. Yeah, that's so beautiful, ahead, dude. Yes, yeah, so I can read through those. But yeah, mine would have to be the the movie era. I mm-hmm. you could uh, uh, honestly, oh, so I, think, I'm, I'm, I saw the the best. Of... The tw- <laughs> the good. 2012 show. I'm like, yeah, the it towards the end of it, but it, it overall. I need to just really watch strong. the cartoon show. The original. And see, I used to watch the original. Like the original cartoon is amazing to me too. But it, it still is. I, I, I was younger back then, you know, and and it was no, but but the, the, that first that first season though, 
those first four, uh, like five or six episodes, yeah, the tone is consistent. It's very well done. The animation is amazing. Oh, animation is great, and and it, even after that, there, that's when the silliness kicks in. But there's still like a lot of great fun episodes. It, and even when they do bring, like, as an adult, like some of the humor went over my head as a kid. Like when Casey Jones is, he's it's it's he's a it's, it's someone doing a Clint Eastwood impression, lawbreakers. You know, I'm like, as a kid, I'm like, oh, he's so cool and tough. Like, oh, it's Clint Eastwood, man. Like, you know, a little iron in your diet. You know, that's a bad, that's a bad Clint Eastwood impression, but that's what it was supposed to be. So many of those actors did that, though, because yeah. you have to imagine that, like, they're doing the voice actors, the voice for so many characters. Yeah. They had you know, to and I know Melanie they Britt else. based um, Cast a Spell off of um, Catherine Hepburn. Yeah, yeah but I'm, but as a kid, you're like, oh, man, she's so hot. You know, I wish you'd talk to me like that, too. Yeah, as a kid, you don't know <laughs> that. And then you see Catherine Hepburn, you're like, she sounds like Cassis Pella. <laughs> <laughs> give, her, give her no, no, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's ripping off film. Right. Right. Oh, like, man, dog. this chick is copying cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, early, anything in the 80s and early 90s of Turtles, to me, that, that that's when it was at its peak. Even though 2012 was a, a great run. good. That uh, that the on the toy shelves with that beautiful card art, mm-hmm. and um and the uh, the live action film and those first few seasons of Turtles, there's n- there was a magical time to be a Turtles fan. Oh my god! I yeah. like Turtles. I actually got my first Ninja Turtle when I got my first Willow figure and Ghostbusters uh the movie uh for the same Christmas <laughs> of '88. Oh, wow. I'm, I, I'm just and it, and it came it came with the VHS. Oh, oh, the first two episodes. Oh, so. Oh yeah. Well, haha. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is when we just start. What do you think about this? I got clamp champ. Nah, Mitten. fuck off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look, Look you. Get Look out of here. It. It's a nice, beautiful acrylic case here, people. I mean, that is really nice. I am. Yeah, I, I was about to go get my mono Hemian, but I'm like. Uh, I mean, do I need to go get my? Do I need to go get my men on car Hemian? Clamp champ. Yeah, you know what? I'll go get my first appearance of Wolverine and shove it right up here. Okay, no, you, that, you, you, stay, you stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two two more questions, and then we're and done. Then I got to bounce because I'm going to be paying yeah, this yeah. tomorrow. Oh, my God. Best 80s cartoon theme song. Well, we kind of have to reserve that, you know. Uh, but I, yeah, biased, for the, for the intro kumite. All right, all right. Yeah, so we'll... but but no, no. But I will say uh, on a regular basis, because I like to work out to these things, like Silverhawks, Thundercats. Get my get my my heart rate up. Yeah. Like if I crank those up, blasting in my ear, I'm ready to go kick the shit out of some weights. And and the and the GI Joe theme from the movie. Yeah, I, I like movie. the I like I love the, I love to work out to that. Uh, that yeah. that's that's a, that's a really kick ass theme. Uh, Dino Saucers is a kick ass theme mm-hmm. to work out to. Cop, Jim I, has an amazing yeah. Yeah. Jim, oh, Jim's intro. got an awesome intro. Yeah, yeah. Jason the, the Will, Jason the World Warriors has an awesome intro. It I, does. I, it oh, uh, That'll make you want to go run really fast if you listen to Jason the Will Warriors. Mask had a great one. So mask, had a Matt, Matt, one. mask is a good For Silverhawks, yeah. I actually preferred just the music at the end than I did yeah. with the, the actual. Oh, I love the build up, like especially uh, like when Quicksilver puts the mask down and starts running really fast. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, I'm Quicksilver too, man. I'm Here's like, like, fast too. Question: what, Which of the Thundercats the, themes music did you like the best? What said? Oh, well, when, when they the came on screen. Yeah. The I always, I always love Tigris. Panthro, man, Panthro. Oh, oh everything God, about man, him Panthro is so cool, man. Yeah, everything about Panthro. Yeah, was him awesome. and Lionel were my, my two favorites. Yeah. Like, because I Panthro was just, I mean, but I, I, I love all of them. But God, as, yeah. when I got older, Panthro was, holy shit, he's badass. He it's is that badass. attitude, man. Yeah, yeah, he's so cool. Stronger than me, not likely. <laughs> God, yeah, we're gonna have to do a, like a. A Thundercats uh, uh, watch longer discussion at some yeah, point, hey, you know. Yeah, 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 well, I definitely. feel like you know because Randall likes a lot of this stuff too. We'll have to do. We'll have to get our ass in gear and cover Goldtar, Thundar, Black Star, all the stars, all the R's, all the R's. <laughs> the R's. Yeah. yeah. You know. And power to dark water. R. Yeah. In all times, it's like it's like poetry. So if they're right, fuck you. Right. Yeah. We'll just make oh, Joe's. God. We'll make Joe's brain explode. But like, dude, we're not going to do fans of power for a couple months. We're just going to concentrate right. solely on talking about all. So these feel other free shows. to be socially awkward and, uh, and say, oh, I, "I can't do it." Sit, sit in the back like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm mad because we're not talking about origins. Oh yeah, just sitting in the back like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. 
Final. Oh, WF3, no, we all love Snarf here. Yes, I love Snarf. Oh. And anybody who doesn't can Snarf. fuck off. <laughs> well, I love Snarf. I finally just started reading the comments. I'm sorry. I oh, no. I'm off right now because Snarf is trash. <laughs> no! <laughs> Billy Barty should have played him in a live action movie. We can't. Yeah. I, would, I would buy that. We yeah. can't end the show. We're not going to end the show this way. We're going to leave it with know. this final question. <laughs> Besides 80s vintage toys, do any of you have any of the 80s fad or crazed items? And do you still have them with you after all of these years? Any of the fads? We're talking yeah. like Rubik's cubes and all that oh, kind of shit. That type of shit. Slap uh, bracelets, or was that more like that was nineties? I think that's more of a nineties thing. Um, no, trapper keepers, that or was that nineties? I, I, I wanted a trapper keeper was in around the eighties, and I wanted one in the nineties, but I, 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 I had they a were trapper expensive. Keeper. They were expensive, so I, I never could get one. I had a trapper um, keeper, and, and the edges tore off of it. The card oh, came out. I got one. 10 lunch boxes with 80s properties on them really like R rambo was on a 10 lunch box he man thundercats gi joe were on 10 lunch boxes the ghost is knocking down random toys in my, my room again <laughs> oh, you got no. zay mod or tomax there this is my christmas present to john i got him both of them oh uh, cool yeah i got those on display in my den the ghost just knocks down random shit. So. Because taking a lunchbox, getting your lunchbox for the next school that was an important decision. Yeah, it kind of was. And your I book have bag. A lunch box, and your book bag and your folders. I've got a couple of thermos. Therm oh, I've got a couple of thermos. Uh, yeah. I've got a, a He Man thermos, a, a Battle Beast thermos, and uh, I want to oh, see. Oh, Battle Beast. Beast. I want to see Ren yeah. draw Battle Beast. I, I, dude, I've, I've, got a, I've got a bunch of those up there, too. Better pay up, motherfucker. Well, hey, look, i got to only do one idea at a time here. Because when <laughs> I think about one, I, what about this? Hey, when, yeah. when's that cop's design coming out? I already I got, got the idea. I just got to give him the damn money. Put him Stop on buying plan. toys, Tyler. Well, I, I actually <laughs> have not bought any toys in the last three weeks. None. I, I canceled that. pre orders out the ass. I'm not buying, I, I, other than buying uh, Thundar and Galtar, I did not buy no comics. Nothing. I did buy the Batman Returns uh, alternate cover so I can put that in the frame with my Batman Returns poster. But oh, it was ten. It was ten bucks. No one else bid on it. Well, that statue was free because at my job they're like, "You've been here five years. Here's like this amount of money. You can, you can do what you want. You can get an Amazon oh, gift cool. card, whatever." Yeah. I'm like, "I'll get an Amazon gift card." So uh, I did. I did get a big ass like a six hundred fifty dollar bonus from Coke oh, Friday. Oh, yeah. but nice. I, nice. But I, I set that aside like to pay for one of the beach trips. Uh, you know, you need, or, you or, need or, to set or, it aside so when we go back to that welcome back collectible shop. Well, that's what I have. My, I have. Well, is either use my tax return it, for the beach trip or use that. Oh, oh, look, we got, we got. What, I got Rebecca's things coming up. I got to make sure. Plus, to make sure if I have money to give rent. Look at, I, I look at Tyler. Like, ah, 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 ah. What were, what were you, <laughs> you saying, know, Rebecca? Whenever Silverhawks and when Super Seven decides to ship those damn figures, I got to make sure I got two hundred fifty bucks to pay for that. No, I said at PowerCon because the figures there. Oh, yeah, They're which you know, Dino Riders. If you're yeah, gonna there'll find be Dino Riders, there'll be cops. There will be, be there. you know, so yeah. uh, or maybe I could just say, hey, you know, uh, I do a podcast. Can I have it for free? Hmm. You know? <laughs> I'll really give you a five percent discount. Yeah. Some uh, there was someone that was asking about those uh, shirts. If they can't attend, would they be able to get one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can offer them to our fans. All right. So there you go. We gotta figure that shit. I out. I should All say right. there'll be exclusives for PowerCon. They'll be first at PowerCon and then. Oh, what you what you you guess. should do like a, a variation with the PowerCon exclusive and then then sell like the the yeah. standard print. You yeah. know, yeah. off what like like we have like Randa's like it, a Battle Beast on ours or something like that. You know. Yeah. It's or, gonna or, be or, silly. Or, 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 like ha, it's silly, like, of Randa course. With... Oh, okay. But, uh, we're not, we're not, not like, looking so, like, like I don't want people's hopes to get up that it's going to be like this badass thing. It's going to be oh, silly. It's not going to look gonna like be pops, is it? something I want everybody like pops, to wear. <laughs> no. Don't wear it because you ask them. I'm just saying. I don't want to be all cutesy and No, I just want shit. everybody to be wearing them. I'm like <laughs> sending selfies to us. Tyler's going to be in Chapter 11 bankruptcy after Power Girl. Probably so. It don't take, it'll, it'll take yep. much, man. Just because it, of that's all why the I, I'm like. There. I'm trying to reach me, reach myself mentally to get to a point where I don't have to spend money to like be super happy right now. Like I'm like I want to I want to buy this one, I want to buy that. I'm like just just fucking stop, 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 stop. Everything. I I went through that this week. I, I oh, when I was I watched tough. the Pirates it is so of Dark tough. Water. I'm like I I should get some of these figures. I'm like no, 
<laughs> Don't do it. Where are you going to put it? Didn't did you say a Pirates of Dark World is streaming somewhere? Uh no. You oh. can um I, I think they're on YouTube. Probably. I don't think Gal- I think Galtar is on YouTube as well. I, I didn't think I couldn't find that on YouTube either. That yeah, on the last I looked, they weren't. Really? I I bought no, part, uh, I bought Black Star on YouTube. Water. Black Star, yeah, yeah. I, I've yeah. seen all the Black Star. Yeah, Black got, Star's on there. Brave Star, Brave, on Brave Star is on YouTube. Every episode of Brave Star and the movie, the Brave Star movie is on is YouTube it? also. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I'll take. I bought the. Uh, I bought the series on DVD for Brave Star. Mm-hmm. But the movie's not included on that. Yeah, it's on a separate set. Yeah, it's which is weird. One. It's like it's like a t- it's really like five cool. episodes and the movie. So you got to yeah. but the you know, which I, I need to buy a hard copy of the movies that way I can add it to the collection. You know, yeah. I just it, but that's hard. It's there's not, you know it it, most copies and it's you most copies are used and they want like forty you know forty fifty bucks Grim, for each copy of the movie. Uh, Grim, if you're listening, hook a brother up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. And we'll wrap. Cause yeah, shit, I gotta man, get my ass to yeah, bed. This here, is guys. like almost yeah. three hours. I knew this was gonna happen when Joe leaves and Ren's here. I'm like, all right, better, better. Yeah. Under new management, ahead. baby. Yeah, <laughs> we we can just keep going, keep going and going and going there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't regret it, but I'm gonna regret it tomorrow. <laughs> I I always stand by the idea. I think it would be it would be tough, but I think it would be really awesome if probably wouldn't raise that much, but it would be fun if we did a charity event. I know I could do. I know I, I could probably just be the main guy here the whole time and just do like a live twenty four hour Joe's stream. The just the charity. And yeah, and just have we everybody him enough shit. drop in and out the entire twenty four hours, and we're just hanging out talking about. But that whatever. would be cool. I always like that the would charities. be fun. I would be more than willing to do that. And it's just like, all right, well, James is awake now. Come on the show. <laughs> you know? It would be a cool way to just have everybody interact. With we just rotate people who've been on the podcast over yeah. the years. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. And it's like you can stay as long as you want, leave whenever, and I'll just be here and be like, all right. Well, well, we'll have Rand comes in, and then William Stout comes in, and yeah. Anthony DeLongas comes in. Robbie London shows up nah, all of a sudden. That, that, and then yeah, here comes Grim. Happened. And then here comes Danielle out of retirement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. We got to get Danielle back on the show. Nah, yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's, uh, She's enjoying staying in seclusion, I, need, I, need I think. I need a girl to talk to. Well, she's tired of people's <laughs> bullshit. You know what? Who can blame her? Rebecca's tired of this fucking sausage fest. That we have. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you need to reach out to her and see if she'll come to PowerCon. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. There we you go. Know? That would be and fun. Talk, can you talk about, like, us, Ren, Danielle, James, maybe, all of us in the same room together? We're talking about the ultimate crossover here, people. <laughs> I mean, like seeing He Man and, and Lionel crossover, man, this is going to be bigger than that, dude. Bigger this than is, that? It's going to be what? bigger than those those shitty comic books. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, we, I mean, we hope I mean, you Rob enjoyed... James is going to wish he could write that kind of shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I got this, uh, this incredible idea here. You, I, I, I just, 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 what, just bear what with was me. It, what was it that you said earlier? You're like, yeah, I hope Robert David's there so he can tell me how much, tell me how much he hates me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost lost my job because of you asshole on your, on your little <laughs> podcast <laughs> that, that nobody fun. knows about. Yeah. And I would uh, be like, tell me it again. <laughs> more. Slower. Tell me more. Uh, shit. Yeah, it's uh, JSP. I actually bought uh, the bundle on Voodoo. It's actually cheaper. I think it was nineteen ninety nine on there. And then Galtar, you can get That's something I need to own is Pirates of Dark Water because I yeah, really enjoyed that just show. Own a hard game. copy of it. Plus, it's more fun to own a hard copy. Of it. Uh, all right, you know what? You get the uh, hell out of here. Uh, all right, <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do right now. So, if, yeah. uh we hope you enjoyed this dis- extremely I- long version of Willow. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> and, and everything I, in between. Yeah, two thirds Willow, one uh, Ren bullshitting, one third <laughs> Ren bullshitting, and uh, body hair discussion. So we hope you guys yeah. enjoyed that. If you're new to the channel because you're like, I watched the series on Disney Plus, I thought it was great. This is a three hour discussion. Oh, you were disappointed. This is not the place for you if you like. Then that. fuck off. Leave a I'm comment sorry. down below. Like what and- you like. Stay away no, from no, 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 no. You do not stay away like from what us. You, like. <laughs> you do not. If yeah, you don't I, like this version of Willow, you get the hell out of here. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I never played the game, so I don't know. Well, if that's I, I good don't or mean not. like the actual I never played game. The game. Well, you held that get... up, so you should have been pointing at your poster. There you All go. right, then this. If you didn't like this, then get the hell out of here. All right. You didn't like We're this. We're going to give it that. Like... <laughs> If you didn't but, like this, then get the hell out of here. But if you did like our show tonight yeah, and you're new to the channel, 
Make sure you yeah. like, subscribe, and ring the I will bell. not apologize for who I am and how I feel. Come to so, PowerCon, tell me how much you hate me. You'll always <laughs> be notified when we go live. And until next time, we'll see you in the future to talk about the past. Oh, yeah, I always forget. Whatever, white people. <laughs> We we gotta find more remarks like that for Ren. It's fun looking for like things like that for him. I'm looking for the starting soon thing.